Okay. This is part three of our Firewatch playthrough. If you have missed the previous Firewatch playthroughs or episodes, um, I'm going to give you a really quick introduction, brief, brief catch up. We are... Oh, there's a granola bar there. Okay. I'm going to give you guys a really, really, really quick in uh, catch up just so you guys know what's going on. I'm going to put that down for a second so I can bring up the map. Um, we are playing a Golf game boy, where we are a fire watchman. Hi, Hi, chat. We are Golf a fire watchman. Having a good day, Coach Hart. Yo, Marley, thank you so much for the 16 months. I really appreciate it and I hope you're having a great day too. Welcome back. Um, we are playing <laughs> fire watch. We are a fire watchman. The backstory is we had a partner who we were greatly in love with, we moved in together, you know, we got our dog, we got ourselves a little dog, a beagle called Bucket. Um, unfortunately, our partner required, uh, required, acquired, um, developed, dementia, oh no, I've forgotten if, I think it was dementia, developed dementia at like a very young age, um, and no matter how hard we tried to stay together and, like, make things work, in the end, um, we kind of got pushed separate directions and it just wasn't really working. And um, she went to go move and live with her family in Australia. We said we'd visit soon. Uh, and then the next thing we know, we are starting our job as a Firewatch person. So we are, like, in the middle of nowhere. We're in Wyoming. And uh, we're in a place where it's very prone to fires, which is why our job is to look out for fires. I am... Speaking on the radio, the <clears throat> the only person I know and I talk to every day is someone on the radio. They're called Delilah. Um, and we can, like, report things in to Delilah. Delilah's been doing the job for years, and obviously we're new. This is, like, our third day on the... No, I think we're actually still on day two of the job. Um, we've had some pesky teens letting off fireworks, and they actually cut down one of our, like, electric lines, so we lost, like, power and stuff. So at the moment, I'm trying to hunt down these pesky teens and get rid of them and find out what's going on. But, there's a twist. Delilah on the radio accidentally left her radio on yesterday, and she was talking about us to someone else. And it was like, well, that's what it sounded like. It sounded really, really, really sus. Um, so we don't know if we trust Delilah, um, but at the moment our only job is to, like, explore, find these caches, look for the teens, um, and basically report everything in with Delilah. But we don't know if we trust Delilah. Um, anyway, I'm gonna radio in this snack bar and just see what she says about it. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Wait, I can still radio it in. Hey, there's a snack in here. Probably gonna eat it. You definitely do Goth not. Boy, click. Wait, we're so desperate for Whatever attention. Happy been Thursday. In there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Uh, I'm gonna eat it, chat. I don't believe that a granola bar could give me food poisoning, so I'm gonna eat it and we're gonna be fine. Okay, we have updated our thing. We were currently actually finding this. Oh, that's what happened. We were searching for the teens yesterday. And we saw a source of smoke, and we reported it in. And we're currently heading down. There it is. We're heading towards that. Also, we found this really weird gated off area in the middle of this forest. And we asked Delilah about it. And Delilah was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. How can Delilah have you know worked? You feel any better. You're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. I mean, I... Assume you went through a breakup. At least that's my best guess at this stage. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. I don't judge. And if you ever want to talk breakups, I'm your gal. We don't know if we trust Delilah, so at the moment I haven't actually told her anything personal. Okay, that jockey story is actually about you, huh? <laughs> no. But can you believe that? It's crazy, right? Well, so then who? I'm the rare breed. My heart's intact. That doesn't mean I didn't join up to get away, but there's more to life than sex and romance. Mm, you know, I don't believe you. Why put on such a show? There's more to life than sex and romance. Get bent. It's not a show. 
It's your business. Just don't lie. Maybe I'm horribly disfigured. Are you? <laughs> Play your cards right and maybe you'll find out, fella. Guys, every time Delilah and our character, I think it's called Harry or Hank or something, um, have a conversation, I sit here like, what the fuck is actually going on? 14 Han, thank you so much for the 10 months, by the way. Welcome back, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies. Colorado? And later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Chat, right. isn't it Colorado? Isn't it Colorado? Colo Colorado? Colorado? It's in Massachusetts? Yeah, I know that. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. Yeah, I'm not doing it. The character in the game said it funny, I swear. Uh, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna turn up the game a little bit more. I swear it's still like... I swear the game just feels a little bit quiet still. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. You guys said it was fine, but like... I swear it's not. That sounds so much better to me. Um, alright. Let's attach a rope to this and go down. Tell me if it's too- 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 Too noodle? I did have noodles for lunch. Tell me if it's too loud now, okay? Please, chat. I just want to make sure it's super loud and immersive. Newt, newt. <laughs> newt, newt. This game is just way too noodle. True. As I climb down a massive noodle. Whoa, why was I moving so slow? I was, like, stuck. Right. We are heading towards the source of the smoke. Where actually are we on the map right now? Oh, wait, I think... Is that not just the hill we fell down that one time? I think it might be. I think on the first time we played, we fell down... God, how much rope have we got? We have unlimited rope, we really do. Is this even... Is this even the right way? Ooh. Wait, campfire smoke? You know what, chat? I'm gonna go down this way because it looks cool. Koji does not listen to the dialogue. Wait, shit. What, what happened in the dialogue? Wait, what did she say? Oh, did she say that's the hill I fell down? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Fuck, that's probably what you guys are saying. You're not one of those guys who's building a great plan to get her back while you're out here, are you? Because you don't want to be that guy. I know everyone sees that guy in the movies and thinks, I can do that, I can get her back. But you should know, we hate that guy. If she broke up with you, she's already with someone else. And if you broke up with her, she won't have you back if she's worth a damn. Yeah, but what do I know? Maybe you got to her in September and you've got twins by June. But it won't be because of your skills as a conversationalist. I'm not one of those guys. That's not what I'm doing. Phew. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Look, I might just be full of shit, you know? I had considered that. It's none of your fucking business, darling. That's the, th that's the thing you're missing, Delilah, darling. It's none of your fucking beeswax, man. And you need to stay out of my business. I came here to escape, not to fucking speak to you, darling. Oh, shit. There's another cache. Forget what I just said. She's in it for the drama, but also she might... It's like she already knows everything about me or something. I get this, like, feeling that she already knows a load of shit about me. Hi, Kelly Beans. 
Okay, right, we got another supply cache. It's full of pine cones. Is that actually it? Is there nothing else in here? Just unlimited pine cone? Oh, I actually think that's it. Update our map a little bit. Uh, what's up, Bans? How are we doing today? Hello, Cod. Good to see you. Hi, Flashfire. Hello, Nessa City. Holy shit, we got everyone up in here. How you doing, Wizzy Woey man? How's... Oh my god, I completely forgot we had this little disposable camera. We got 17... F oh! That's worth a picky. A little bit of sun flare. A little sunset sun flare. Yeah, that's lovely. That's absolutely gorgeous. Um... Oh! oh! Okay. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Grizzlies won't kill a-holes? What, grizzlies won't kill an a-hole? They don't have a taste for unapologetic pricks? Nope, it's why we haven't lost a ranger in 11 years. So, you don't think anything bad happened to those guys? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shred a pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I'm sure you do, Henry. How d How the fuck does she know what we're wearing? But we've never seen her. Um, the missing person flyer is for Mitch Michaels, age 31. <laughs> Behind you, Koji. I swear, I feel like she said, oh, it's probably uniform. Uh, could be uniform. Guys will wear the same shit. Guys, it's not like every guy in the world is just wearing fucking cargo shorts right now. It's, it's, not, it's not like every guy just fucking wears, like, cargo shorts every day or some shit. Like, what do you fucking think this is, man? Come on, bro. I, we're better than that. Don't lump us all in the same fucking pair of shorts, man. Please. That's absurd. Oh, wait, where did I just put the missing... <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> these, aren't, these aren't actually cargo shorts, man. They're corduroy. And they're really cute little olive, pastely olive green. They just have the cargo pockets, okay? Cargo shorts during Pride Month? Wait, is this a hate crime? I didn't know. <laughs> Whatever you say, G.I. Joe, that's fucking hilarious. Bro, cargo shorts are the best, Nick. Don't let chat convince you otherwise. Cargo shorts, bang. I way prefer cargo shorts to normal shorts. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I find that missing person's note, because... I definitely held on to it. But... It, it doesn't seem to be in these things. Does chat, has anyone actually played this game that would be able to tell me how to, um... <gasps> I forgot I had a flesh, uh, flashlight. It doesn't seem to be a... Doesn't it actually genuinely seem to be a button to find that missing persons thing I just had? Oh, it's on the floor! Fuck! Oh, God. You wore Zorts? Sh Zorts? <laughs> you wore Wait, zipper shorts should definitely be called Zorts. Why are we not calling zipper shorts Zorts? 
I did wear shorts. I, I used to wear tracksuit bottoms that would change into shorts, yes. Fucking everyone did, man. If you didn't have a pair of cappers that buttoned down the side and turned into shorts, then I don't want to fucking speak to you, honestly. Those were the coolest shits ever. I would rock them now. But I don't know why we're not calling them zorts. Kappa, Kappa tracksuit bottoms with the buttons down the side and the stripes went so fucking hard. Honestly, I, I bet people are wearing them again right now. Now that like Y2K and everything is back in, I bet people are banging out the Kappa, uh, the Kappa trousers. They were sick. Okay, Golf Mitch Michaels. Boy, Never mind. Woot woot. Woot woot. Hi, X for you. What do you mean, Y2K question mark? What, you never heard of Y2K before, man? Uh, Urchels, thank you so much for the six months. We, we, welcome back. I really appreciate it. Um, you're about to lose a load of viewers for that. Well, guys, what on earth have I said that's remotely controversial here? What the fuck is Y2K? Year 2000, man. God, is my chat full of fucking Zoomers? I've got a, little, a load of little baby zoomies in my fucking chat now. What happened? What the fuck's happening? You don't know what Y2K is? Bro, okay. Picture, like, early thousands. Early 2000s R&B, right? Like, those music videos that were, like, all the same music video for every song. That is, like, Y2K fashion. Year 2000 fashion. Y2K is, like, also, like, you know, like, Britney and shit. Bro, Y2K fashion goes fucking hard. Sunreach is a boomer kiss kiss kiss. Hey, man. Hey, man. Everyone knows Y2K fashion. Yeah, you would, if you, okay, you might not know the term Y2K. It's just a way of saying year 2000. Like, you got, like, I think it's probably because you got, like, 80s, 90s, 70s, 60s, 2000s. It's, like, hard to say. So, I think people just started saying Y2K, which is probably just as hard to say, actually. Um, but you would, if you saw Y2K fashion, you would know immediately what it is. It's uh, the noughties. Yeah, there we go. The noughties. Um... Anyway, back to the game. Sorry, I get really heated. I get really heated when I get called out on my cargo shorts and being a man. I get <laughs> I get really fucking hot under the collar, heated up, red in the cheeks when people call me out for wearing cargos. Um, Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July third, nineteen eighty one. He was the first reported. He was first reported missing on July the twenty ninth, nineteen eighty one. Holy shit, he was reported missing like a whole month after last being seen by the Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location, Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd. That is the lake that we got caught um, spying on the naked girls. Um, there were two girls. They had stripped off and gone skinny dipping in the lake. I had been told by Delilah on the radio that I needed to go and tell them off because they were letting off fireworks and having campfires and stuff. And then they caught me in the bushes and they started shouting at me. They were calling me like a squeaker or something. I'd never heard the term they used, but they were calling me like a squeaker or something. And I was hiding in the bush and there was about a million people watching the live stream and it was one of the most embarrassing moments. Oh, skeezer. That's what they called me. I've never heard that in my life. Um... Okay, and also the vehicle info, 1972 Ford F-250, blue and white, Montana, Montana Lisk. Guys, this is probably really important. A blue and white 1972 Ford. If you have seen slash contacted them or have more info. Okay, guys, I feel like this is actually going to be really, really important. Um, find the source. I think if we go this way. Yeah. 
Oh, lush woods. Wait. Wait, Americans use the word lush since when? Whenever I say lush to an American, they're like, what the fuck did you just say? Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? It means trees? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. This is the sort of biome-based small talk that will be invaluable to you as a single man. Lush greenery. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. I see the stream, I see the stream. I've heard of the term lush greenery before, but I'm imagining that that's probably still the same reason people in the UK just describe things as lush. Because it means the same thing still. We just don't use it only for greenery. Like, oh, that ice cream was lush. It was delicious. Oh, or is it from Delushus? Oh, or is it from Luscious? Delushus or Luscious? It's, it's got to come from one of these things. It's one of them. I've seen the light. <laughs> I, I have. I've seen the light. Holy shit, guys. I'm not going to lie. I was in such a bad mood until I streamed today. Thank you for hanging out with me and cheering me up, man. I, I really appreciate it. I wasn't in a bad mood. That's not the right word. I was just feeling really sad. Okay. It looks like we're really close. Can we go in the water? <gasps> oh, I like it when they get the sounds right. It's not quite right, but there's definitely sound for the water. That's nice. <gasps> oh! I thought it was sort of a little, like, baby Bambi or something, but it was just a leaf. I can't actually see- <gasps> Wait! There's remnants and evidence of fire here. Hi, Cursed Angel. I'm sorry you're not feeling so good today. <gasps> oh, that's luscious. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Hi, Clifford. I did. I got the wordle. Dipping, I bet they're nearby. Hi, Diana. How we doing? That's nice. Bro, I love games like this because they make me feel like I'm out in nature even when I'm not. Love it. Where is that smoke, man? I don't see it. Maybe it's over this hill. That was a castle. Wait, it's saying I can re report in Vista, but I don't know what Vista is. As in, like, Asta La Vista, baby? And then we, like, jump down here and do some cool shit? What does it mean? Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Vista is a view. Is that? I think I've... Yeah, shit, I've come the wrong way. That was cool, though. That was cool. It was worth a little detour for, I guess. It's Spanish. Can't be Spanish. I didn't learn it in my <laughs> three days of Duolingo. I don't think I don't think it's Spanish, guys. I don't think you're right about that. i what's that? <gasps> is it a ghost or is it a floating It's a floating scrap of fabric. Okay, never mind. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Wait, is it? It's this way, I think. I think I'm getting a little bit <clears throat> confused. Wait, no, I'm going the wrong way again. Which way to get? Oh. 
No. What am I doing? Do I climb the waterfall, maybe? I ha guys, <laughs> guys, I know I have a map, man. I understand. Oh wait, was it just this way? Or is this the way we came? Oh my god, we found it. Let's call it in. I see a campsite and it I looks love like being a little fire. snitch. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. <gasps> what a job this is. They're tents here. We've found like their I feel like every time I stomp out these fires, it doesn't actually put it out. Maybe if we... Wait! It just said my bed sheets. <gasps> I found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like... It... Guys, it just feels like a frame job to me. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I'm getting like real... Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What? On earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Something ain't right, chat. This is... What the fuck is, like, going on here? <gasps> Wait! It's all torn up by a bear! Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever. And tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. Gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. They got the wrong guy. They got the wrong guy. This is like typical, like, oh, all men wear cargo shorts. All men look at women, you know, like they've, it's, it's all this. It's, it's just, I've been, I've been painted with the same brush. I've been tainted with the same shorts choice today. And that's literally all this is. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? What? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is... I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers, they could be having a bad mushroom trip, we really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Bro, is Delilah just fucking with us? Like... Is Delilah, like, setting up these scenes and just fucking with us? Like, what is going on? What does that mean, tiny frog feet? Hi, Mary Cutie. Hi, SGW. Hi, Flashfire. Hi, Emily. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. 
I don't know who Rolly Fingers is, but Reynolds, Tom Cruise has a good looking twin. Let's Unless go for the don't wanna answer. Re fingers, salad fingers. Do you know Rolly Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> Ooh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. Okay. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. Is In this safe for stream? I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos, clothes, I don't really think about it. I try to look nice usually. Now this can't be that hard. Let's just think like of your closet. Open it in your mind. Let's just try and what is inside? Henry. put Delilah off. Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high hey, society. Why are you putting on that English accent? Mm, good to know, Dale, yes. You think we all now wear fucking tuxedos? What's that? I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> is this role play? I have a thick beard. <laughs> You'll enjoy my thin mustache and long easy. scar. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? <laughs> For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Steely, happy, tired. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Aww. Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. I'm not you flirting with Delilah, me. chat. Are, are you joking? Absolutely. Chat, are you... No, you're joking. You're trolling. I'm not flirting with De Delilah, man. Ah, <gasps> Shelly Duvall! Oh my god, I completely forgot about Shelly! Hi, Shelly! Oh my god, you are so fucking cute. Holy shit. Shelly Duvall. You're so cute. Okay. Um, right. What are we doing? We got all these notes. Find boards downstairs to patch the window. Oh, I know where those b boards are. They're like right under the stairs. We've looked at them before. Just make sure everything's intact up here. It's all looking good to me, I think. It's actually pretty... It's pretty cozy up here, you know? I find it pretty cozy up here. I One thing that really fucks with me is the fact that there's no curtains, no blinds, nothing. I don't think I could live like that. I'm going to put my hat on, though. But other than that, it's kind of cozy. I think it would get really scary at night time, though. You need to watch for fires. Yeah, but you got to sleep sometimes. Might as well close the blinds while you sleep. Right? Everyone's got to sleep. These are the boards, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. No, they're not. Cinder block. Cool. Oh, there's the boards. Get a couple more boards. Okay. Oh, they're just scattered around the place. I'd be scared the wind would blow the tower over. I would definitely be more scared about... Oh, that's enough. Okay. I would be more scared at nighttime of just, like, people... Oh. A cistern. A cistern. 
I would be more scared of it getting dark and like people being below me and like cu coming up in the night and stuff like that than I'd be scared of the tower blowing over, I think. What if the bottom lit on fire and the whole tower collapsed? Okay, uh, well, I've <laughs> you're fucked, man. What am I supposed to say to that? Also, the towers... The watchtowers are typically remote in forests and mountains, so you rarely see people. Yeah, which makes it so much scarier, because if there's people there, what the fuck are they doing? And there's no, like, there's nothing to protect you, man. They're not going to be scared of, like, CCTV and stuff. There isn't any. This is quite therapeutic, actually. So accurate. I got the window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, wait. Yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to <gasps> you. There's Delilah! I finally spotted her. Holy shit, she's up there. She's at Thorofair. We were really close to Thorofair. That's up at the top, right? We were really close to that the other day. We went up there. Wait! You were telling me, right? <laughs> that fucking emote is so good. Hi, Nana Puss. How are you today? My sweet Nana Puss. Um, you are telling me, right? I'm all the way down here. This is where I stay. Two forks look out. The fence is up here, right? Delilah is at the Thor Thorofair lookout on that massive peak of a hill looking down over this fenced area. You're telling me she's never seen this fence and she's done this job for years? Bro, I call BS. That is total BS. Um, I actually have to go and get my air up because I don't have any water up here. So I'm going to pause it and I'll be back. Give me two seconds, okay? God, it's hot in here today. Holy shit. Okay, sorry, chat. I'm back. Let's continue. So, we now know where Delilah is. So, it looks like we can report in and say ready to work. Let's do okay. it. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Mm-mm. Of course. of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Wait, we're on day nine? Wait, holy shit. Hello, Henry. Oh. Having a nice afternoon? Nice little sunny, yeah, thank you. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. God, this is pretty, actually. Nice. Holy shit. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then... You're probably the last person to have seen him. No, Delilah. It's a coincidence. How many pairs of girls go backpacking? Probably a lot. Yeah, probably a lot. So I guess you didn't get their names then? Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yeah, don't, or it's worth mentioning. Nah, it's worth mentioning. What the fuck? Surely. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Because you killed Me them, either. probably. Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Bro, there's something not right about Delilah. There's something not right, chat, I swear. Henry. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up.
up the radio. What the fuck is going on? Well, I'm putting my hat on first. Put that down. No, no. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. What the fuck? That was all. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? What? What? Wait, what the what the fuck's happening? Henry? Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Wait. I don't understand. Was is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring? Some Wait, no, I can't listen to that right now, guys. I don't understand. Wh why? It wasn't Julia at the start, was it? It wasn't Julia. It turned into Julia. So it it was. I mean, it wasn't real. How would Julia be calling us on the radio anyway? It can't be real. It couldn't have been real. It like that can't have been real. None of that was real, I don't think. Supplies all the way up to our towers. Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. In unless You're Delilah hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. I'm really confused, because we... Be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. I'm really confused because we came to this supply drop on like day one or day two and there was hey, nothing so in it at that time. Who's Jules? I I mean I assume it's your ex. I, I don't mean to pry. How do you know that name? I haven't said anything about Julia. Um. Wait, is there something going on that I don't know about? <laughs> what? No. Look, a couple of weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night and you were talking in your sleep, I guess. I only heard the name Julia, so I figured I'd ask. Nah, even if that's true, she, Delilah was speaking to us first. She woke us up. Look, I really don't want to talk about her, all right? Jeez, must have been a real fuck up. It's not, it's say? not, it's not a fuck up. Uh, it's just look, none of your business, so, man. A couple of months before I took this job, I, <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. Sorry, guys. I just realized that this should probably just be up here just in case. Just so you can see the names. Because it, yeah, it might, might be important. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied.
lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Shit, man. I don't remember asking, but that's crazy. That's okay, but, uh, that's crazy, though. There you go. There you go. a whole lot about me. Um, right. Food for other lookout. Food for two forks. That's for us. Food for other lookout. Yeah, chat. Like, honestly, that's crazy. Um, I don't really know what she just said. I know she was talking about Javier. And and then I zoned out. I think she, I think she said he cheated on her. But I was, to be honest, I was just trying to find the supply drop. Um. So I'm not. I'm not supposed to take the other ones. I don't think. But where is Spruce and Moss Peak? Like, what are those? Because that's not thoroughfare lookout. Um, I'm not going to fuck with other people, I don't think. Thing is, I can report end day and head home. But the thing about that is, guys... I say we don't head home. And like, I'm worried if I report that I'm heading home, the game might just like teleport me home or something. I wanna go and fucking like see if I can see Ju uh, Delilah from up here. You know what I mean? Oh my God, what is this? Wait, but. So sh that's where Delilah is up there. So if we radio this in, Delilah's gonna know we're looking for her. Fuck it, let's do it. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado! I gotta get out of here! A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years? You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life? <sighs> okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. I wish we didn't call that in, man. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Whoa! See, that's why I was scared to call it in. It's just teleported us to day 64. What the fuck? Huh? You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? So, no ideas, huh? What about Delilah? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, I'm how about sweet. My name, June. The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like 
tonight when it is so disgustingly hot. I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. <gasps> I would if I was with you. <laughs> if I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Yep. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I look forward talking to you, even if you don't feel comfortable opening up. You always can. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Wait, I was just trolling. I didn't. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Do we? No. Did that happen? No. To. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. I think chat hated that. Yeah, that's why I fucking did it. That's why I did it. <laughs> uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even Where food. am I supposed to be going? Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to use this. Search the lakeside for bear tracks. Oh, okay. So, lakeside... Is that way. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Cow Pal Cal would love this. What, because she's a pigeon? Oh, no, you're probably right, actually. Uh, okay, and then we need to go down this way. Oh, this is where we originally found their campfire. Yeah, I don't really know what happened that in that conversation chat. I honestly was just... Wait, there's more whiskey here and more fireworks here. Oh shit, was I supposed to report those in? Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, I'm not gonna lie chat, I had no idea that was gonna happen. I was just straight up trolling you guys. I thought it'd be really funny because I know chat really, really loves Delilah. Uh, but when things got out of hand really, really fast. <gasps> Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What? What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually what? find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. 
Henry. I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? What's oh, Rainbow on. Strikes? I just called you that. Wait, what the hell did she just call us? Wait, guys, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I did not have relations with that woman. <laughs> I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. <laughs> oh my god, I got whacked! Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you what? serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. What I the saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. What is this? I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what? What you saw, Henry. Is Can she joking? Delilah, are you joking? Back to sucker punch you. This just, oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst, and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Guys, I'm okay, so. Okay, sorry. I, I believe you, but. That conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking Relation what? To God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seem spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah. Okay. Did they walkie-talkie acts? <laughs> Yeah, I think they did. Bro. Fuck. Delilah, I completely agree with what you're saying, chat. Delilah doesn't even seem to care. Like, we just got hit over the head. And Delilah was just like, oh, are you sure you're not just, like, imagining it or something? Like, something ain't right, man. University of Eastern Colorado. Colorado. Where's, where's, where are the teenage girls missing from, or whatever they were? The fourth estate. Neil Black, Neil Black. Thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. An emergency landing after a murder in first class. Is this, like, supposed to be... Because whoever reads all these books, they're always, like, murder and crime books. Hmm. Oh, I need to update my map.
Right, where's the note? Let's have a look at this. Ron, I got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out here. Hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionales is Italian. I can't call in this note. What if I drop it? Can I call it in then? No. Okay. Hmm. I'm wondering... Didn't Ron, the guy that we're reading the notes of... Wait, chat. Chat. Tinfoil hat theory, right? Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? Could Dave be talking about Debbie and Debbie is Delilah and Delilah changes names and stitches up all these people? Also, I went up to check on that new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs. So I figured to stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. <laughs> Wait. Is that me? No. That's not me, right? I know our name's not Mitch, but doesn't that look so much like us? I swear that looks exactly like our character. Also, the people, if you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. So Ron, guys, Ron and Dave love to meet up and drink a case of beers. And they're also talking about the other workers, like in the watchtowers and stuff. I think we're on to something, chat. Yo, what's up, Goose? Like, chat, maybe we're like a future version of ourselves finding, looking back and finding out what happened to us or something. I don't know. Who knows? Something's not right. Something ain't right. Whatever's happening, Delilah is not good, man. And I really, this sun is so nice, I know. It's unbelievably difficult to stream in this weather, I can't lie. <gasps> Holy shit! Okay, I think we need to go down this way. Take it easy, Nick. Enjoy the sun, man. Enjoy it while it's here. Do you regret having walkie-talkie X with her? A hundred percent. A hundred percent, I do. I did it to fuck with chat, and now it's like turned into this big thing, and I regret it so much. I just got caught up in the moment, you know? And now I'm living a life full of regret for a, a weak moment. Oh! The fence again. The fence. The fence again. All right, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. 
Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Yeah, Delilah's always having, like, little digs at us like that as well. That's something else I've noticed. She'll always have, like, little snarky comments. Also, yeah, actually true. To everyone in, like, smoky areas right now, I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you're okay. I don't know too much about it, but that stuff looks really scary. You're safely inside. Good. How do I check air quality? I actually don't know how you do that, but I'd imagine Goose, your air quality is unbelievably good. Um. So I need to... Oh. Can I do something with this? <gasps> oh, that's not what I had in mind. I thought we were going to pick the lock with it. Never mind. <laughs> Um, okay, so there's got to be something in this area that we can, we can break this with. There's got to be. Um... Didn't she say something on the radio about finding the people... Finding those two guys, though, that were doing, like, a controlled burn and seeing if they would help me open the fence. But also, why the fuck would they help me open the fence? Oh. Oh, no, I can't go that way. <gasps> Chop down damaged tree. Shit, I can't, though, because I don't have an axe. Is there, a, like, a supply cache around here? Okay, I don't think we can do this right now. Look for controlled burns south of Ruby River. Oh, shit, all the way down there? Okay, I think we might be wasting our time here right now. I don't think we can do this stuff. If you were a real fireman, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Oh, you can Google the air quality of your location? I can't go that way. Hi, Rampant Hag. How are we doing today? Hello, Salami. Hello, Shep. Hi, Ivy. How are you doing today? Hello, Annie D. Um, I saw someone asking what flavor I'm using on my air up today. I still have cola from yesterday because... Um, the air up, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it lasts eight, eight, like eight full bottles of water. And I'm only on like my third or fourth and it still, it still smells and really, really strong and tastes of cola. So at the moment, I'm not changing it. Um, I guess we go that way. But the next one I'm going to try is Apple, 100%. <laughs> Do you think if I... <laughs> CP Nelson? You know, that's a really good question. I think with that one, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and say no. I don't, think I, I don't think I could do that. Do you? Apple is really good. Wait, do you have an air up, Subtic Martians? Apple is definitely my next to try. I'm going to try apple, then passion fruit, and then I've got so many flavors. I swear I've got like 15 flavors. I really wanted to try the mango, because it's like mango bliss or something. There's like a really fancy sounding mango one that I want to try. And if you don't know what air up is, because I saw you guys asking in chat, air up is literally, it's a water bottle, but you put these filter caps on the top like this. Um... 
which are biodegradable, which I'm going to keep saying all the time because that's so cool. Um, and basically, you get all these different flavored caps. And you just put, you can put like sparkling water or just filtered water or whatever kind of water in there. But when you drink it, you like taste through your nose. It's it's a very crazy concept, but it's really cool. Basically, because this thing smells like cola, your brain makes it taste like cola. It's so cool. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp oh, where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Um, okay. I think we need to go... Did I just see Birdie in the... Hi, Birdie. How you doing? It's my first time playing. I'm really enjoying this game, though, yeah. I don't really know where it's going, but I think that's great. I think that's probably exactly how it should be. Okay, I'm wondering if we take the Thorofair Thor Trail or... We head towards the Medicine Wheel. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we'll figure it out. In Psych, we learned while taking medicine, if you hold your nose, you cannot taste the medicine because your tongue depends. Oh, yeah, because, oh, my God. Yeah, when you were a kid, hey, my parents used I to always tell me to hold my nose if I didn't like food and I could, then you could salute it. Wait, true. Um. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I used. And? Do you think that... Maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Ruby just River. keep hiking. Whatever <gasps> you say, boss. Wait, so I can get to Ruby River this way? Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? What yeah, is that? it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. You literally got clobbered over the head and she's frustrated with you? I know! There's something seriously wrong with Delilah, man. That's what they should have called this game. There's something I wrong with don't Delilah. Know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know, Ned... Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, Golf you're getting boy, your boss click. on the phone. Yeah. Ryan is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I also agree, by the way. I'm really upset that the medicine wheel didn't get explained because I wanted to hear more about it because it actually sounded interesting and I like stuff like that. Ikaza, thank you so much for the eight months as I've missed you, Koji. I missed you guys too, and it's really good to be back, honestly. It was um, a much-needed break, but it was uh, it is really good to be back. Um, I do feel like Firewatch was the perfect game to come back to. It's just so sort of, like chill and nice. It's like a nice little reintroduction to streaming and trying to remember how the heck to stream. Um, I've been really enjoying this game. I'm very confused, but I think that's exactly... I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. 
Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Oh, let's, let's go over there. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Wait, it looked like I was going to be able to report something then, but I don't think it's gone away. I don't know what that was. Sounds like the Last of Us music. Yeah, actually, I know what you mean. Yeah, I, I, I see it. I hear it. Oh. Oh. Update our map. What do we got going on on this one? Cottonwood Creek. Cash. Oh, wait. This is where we are right now. Medicine wheel. Okay. Three blind rats. It's another book by... The, all the books are by Richard Sturden. Um, there is literally nothing in this supply cache apart from an updated map. Okay. Right? Okay. That's a rubbish one. That's an absolutely terrible one. Oh! Okay. Find fire uh, firefighters, firefighters in old scout camp past the controlled burn. Okay, so is that? That's gonna be east. This way. All right, chat. I finally figured out how to use the compass. It's taken me a really long time. Oh, what happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for work. Oh, wait. That's how I just got it. All this shit has me. Oh, this is the wrong way. Oh, I think I need... I guess I need to go down and round more, more than I was. Hi, tiny frog fee. Did we find out what's in the fence? No, not yet. I'm hope we're supposed to be finding these two firefighters, um, and they're gonna hopefully help us get into the fence so we can see what's in there. But at the moment, we don't know still. What's that? That's a ski. Is that a ski? That is a ski. And a big tree. Wow, that is a that is a big tree. I can't radio in any of this stuff though. Uh, Kimmy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Good to see ya. Mm. We just need to go past the big tree, I think. Goth boy, click. Regret. Hi, regret. Polluted New Jersey country. Hey, you stay safe, okay? I'm really sorry that's happening, man. I hope you're okay. Thank you so much for the 25 months. Hi, Blythe. Hi, Tease. Whoa, bro, I don't know why. I just thought there was like a big bear running at us or something then when I heard that noise. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I haven't been banged in over three weeks. That is my first fucking... No, I did not just headbang Heather. That's my... That's my first one since coming back. Holy shit. I even got the camera out. True. No one would have believed me otherwise. I had to get the camera out. Uh, Taru, you absolute little shit. What the fuck? Taru, you little shit! Taru, don't ever, ever do that ever again. Listen, man, I love you. I think you're great, but don't ever do that ever again, okay? <gasps> Secret supply cache, question mark? Oh, wait, I think we knew about this one. I just didn't notice it. This is why I love exploring in games, because I would not have noticed this one otherwise. CV Nelson, 
You dig <laughs> you dip dived and dodged. Duck dip dive and dodge. Sorry, Winter. It's truly unforgivable. We're just trying to have a cozy little stream here. We're enjoying the vibes. We're relaxing today, and Taru comes in like that. <laughs> um. Right. Let's read this note. It's oh, it's it's from Dave, I think. Ron. Really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper. But every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mum. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter of the way through a bottle of Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. Yeah, and every single time we find drinks, it's exactly what Dave and Ron drink. I don't know, man. Something ain't right. Let's update on that. Power hour in two minutes. Guys, don't say stuff like that. Oh, man. I'm nowhere near ready to even, like, mentally put myself in a place of doing that again. But holy shit, I do miss it. I do miss it, man. What an unbelievable 22 days that was. That was fucking crazy. Be ready to charge. No goblin. No power hour. <laughs> Hi, Granite. Hi, Kai. Kai Lag. What's the goal of this game? I don't know. It's my first playthrough. I'm not entirely sure. Um, that's why it's so fun. It's thr it's thrilling. All right. All right. That's the chopped tree, maybe, that we wanted to chop down. Uh, maybe not. God, there's a lot of books in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be reading the back of all these books. I feel like kind of, yes, I'm probably supposed to be reading them all. The Accidental Savior. John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? Old toilet paper. The Accidental Subathon Savior. <laughs> Critical hit! Oh, it's a different book. Jane Eyre, Charlotte Bront. One chance to die. Fuck me, man. What's wrong? Why is everyone laughing at me? Koji didn't go to school. Koji loves the classics. Jane Eyre? Why did you jump? I don't know. I'm on edge now. You guys put me on edge. Uh, Twilight Princess, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I really appreciate Oh, wait, it's Power Meow. <laughs> thank you so much, Twilight Princess. I really appreciate it. Jane Eyre? Eyre? Eeyore? Eeyore. Eyre. Jane Eyre. Jane Eeyore. Jane Eyre. Jane... Irie. Oh, Jane Irie? Wait, you pronounce it air like air up? Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre. Charlotte Bronte? Okay, I'm not, you're gaslighting me. I, I didn't say Bronte wrong. No shot. That's enough of that, chat. That's enough of that. I never know if it's a bit. Yeah, there's such an easy way to tell if it's a bit or not. Because C.P. Snelson said this. He was like, I just never know, like, what's a bit and what's not. Guys, it's really simple. I'm not a comedy streamer. I'm not a comedian. It's not a bit. It's never a bit. It's never a bit. The fact that you guys even think it's a bit is offensive. Wait, is that a speedboat? It's a... It's a snowmobile? Is this like... Uh, there's an old 
pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Pork Pond. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. What? What's going on? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. It looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across Old Pork Pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but... Given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm, okay. Let's carry on looking for the firefighters. Pork Pond. Alright. Goodbye, coconut. Have a lovely rest of your day. in. Oh! Oh! Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. Arapaho? Since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing... That is not how I thought you'd pronounce that. that right At all. Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Um, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we need to find another way around. Um. Well, where does this go? Let's have a look at this. This is probably the right way. Wait, is that a country? Arapaho? Or a state? It's a county. It's a Native American. What county? It's a county named after a Native American tribe. I was going to say, that makes a lot more sense because I feel like... Arapaho does not sound like a a traditionally like English word to pronounce it because I definitely wouldn't have said it that way. Wait, the devs working on a new game that comes out this year? Oh, that's really exciting. This is the great thing about me never having played any games. Uh, I really need to, f need to find an axe to chop down these trees with, don't I? It's always a problem. Um, I play games, like, so late that by the time I ever get around to playing them... Oh, there's a totem pole. Um, by the time I ever get around to playing games, there's usually, like... Oh, I'm on the other side of the bridge! Yeah, I play games so late, usually, that by the time I get around to playing them, there's a new one about to come out. It's so good. I love that. Um, Alright, let's report in these. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the Is that a That's a trap! The dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons, armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. 
can you play Skyrim and then hopefully a next one will come out, bro? I mean, I played Elder Scrolls Online and I was waiting for a really long time for them to announce a new Skyrim or something so that I could just skip on playing the last one. Hi, Ari. How are we doing today? Good to there see you. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. What's a stalwart? Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. Is that a type of bear? For the past 35 years, yeah. Are you going camping tomorrow? Oh god, Ari, I don't know if you should watch this game. I've never played this game. I don't know where it's going, but it seems to be like taking some dark turns. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing time, though. I've actually been saying to Abby, I really fancy going like, <gasps> There's an axe in the tree! Let's go! Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Um, I've been saying to Abby a ton recently, I really just want to go, like, back to basics, like, nature camping trip. That's one of the reasons we're going on holiday this weekend and for, like, next week, because I just really want to be out in nature a lot. Um, probably because of the subathon, I guess. I just, like, have been really craving being in nature a lot lately. Just kind of want to wake up and have a little barbecue going, cook some, like, a little sausage sandwich for breakfast and a cup of tea, I, and just, like, be out in nature. I don't know. I found I'm into that right now. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow. It's got to be a poop on it. Sure that's for burying poop. Oh! And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? Hmm. Guys, hey, I don't really I think I want to go like a memo from their boss. camping anymore. Let's say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. Golf boy, click. Mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that 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 we don't know about. What are they oh, researching? Oh, oh, we don't know about it, Delilah. We don't we don't know about it. You you don't know about it, Delilah. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You you think they're studying you and me? I do. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like if you put someone in isolation with someone else. What they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. Guys, we had walkie talkie X. And they heard it. They heard all of it. Just a big misunderstanding, but. God, if you saw what you said you did. Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and. Keep an eye out for anyone following you. Goodbye, Kimmy. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by. That's really exciting. I did see what you said. Um, all right, guys. I'm actually going to just read this myself because I feel like I want to just absorb all the information. Squad boss Grant Carson. Wyoming Interagency Hotshot Crew. Paint Rock Ranger District. Grey Bull. Bro, this sounds so made up. But it's probably not even made up. It's probably a real thing. Re Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region, uh, Squad Boss Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing on you. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. I don't know if I'm saying Wapiti right. Hi, Doob. How are you today, man? He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire, wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to.
thanks as always for your service. Rich Slusarenko, Assistant Superintendent. All right. Sorry, sometimes I read them back in silence because I'm like, am I absorbing this information? Am I missing something? I don't feel like I was really missing anything. Dupe, I'm loving this game. I'm really confused, and I, I, I did something which I really, really, really regret. I had uh, Walkie Talkie X with Delilah, and I really regret it, and, like, I really didn't want to do it. Um... Hi, Emmy Murphy. Thank you so much for the nine months, by the way. Welcome back. I really, really appreciate you. There's a town in Colorado called No Name. No, but I actually really like... I've said this on stream so many times. I love the names of things in America. Um, I love, like, the names for, like, sweets and candy and, like, area names. I remember listening to Serial Podcast for the first time. Uh, oh, I can probably clear this with my axe now. Like, I love all the, like, high school names, like, the road names. Um, like, you guys have such nice names for everything. It'll be, like, Sunshine Boulevard. And then I'll, like, go outside and turn the corner, and it'll be called, like, Dead End Drive. Bro, I literally walked past a road sign yesterday that was called Gooch Alley. Like, America's out here with Sunshine Boulevard, and we have Gooch Alley, man. I was just, like... Should I take a picture of this? This is just unbelievable. Like, everything in the UK is so much more, like, depressing and, like, stern. And then, like, you guys will have sweets called, like, Kid and Candy Cotton Drops. And then ours will be called, like, Fisherman's Friends. And you think I'm joking? That's one of our most popular, like, fucking sweets in, in like, all convenience stores. It's Fisherman Friends. And it's, like, a brown lump that tastes like piss. Honestly, it's crazy. Like, everything is so sunshine smiley in America compared to to the UK. Road names, everything. It's not even a sweet. I think it's like a... I don't really know what a fisherman's friend is. They do help with colds, though, yeah. Can't wait for the fisherman friend sponsor. <laughs> yeah, this does not taste like piss, chat. <laughs> God, it tastes so good. I do think people use fisherman friends for coughs, but I don't I don't think that that was their original purpose, right? I or was it? Are they just cough drops? I don't think they were supposed I don't know. It's a lozenger? They're always with the sweets in the UK, or at least they were when I was a kid. I remember that, because every time I go to the service station, it was like... Fisherman's friends would be with the sweets. I'm not sure what a Ricola is, no. I don't know if we have that or not. I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay. Re returning to Wapiti Meadow. Um... Which was... Where was that? It was near the medicine wheel, right? I think... It probably says it on the map and I'm just not noticing it. Hey there. I, I had a thought. Oh, Let's hear what? it. What is it? You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Uh, I ain't telling you... On my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. Bro, what is she All saying? Right. So, uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? That person needs a fisherman friend. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What's happening? Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. What about when I heard There was a pipe in the background. Yeah, I heard it. I heard the I pipe. Just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. What? Why are we listening to everything Delilah says? Like, why would I go and... I don't want to go and lock myself away in here when she's telling me to go there after... Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the... Oh, 50th time today. 
the June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Is Delilah our friend, though, Delilah chat? We don't know that for sure. Your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, what? I What's was happening? wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Oh, God. Great. Oh. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Guys, I'm so on edge right now. There was a bang outside my window and it really fucking scared me. Holy shit. Oh my god, this game has got me on edge. Like, really bad. Sure, it's the, uh... No, you don't need to tell me, just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree, and there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Wait, why can I report the poster again? Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree Cotton and woods. you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Yeah, it's like... The thing is, though, right? If there's people on the line listening... Hmm. If there's people on the line listening... Wait, I can confiscate my own fireworks. If there's people on the line listening, I don't really understand. I don't... I, I, Oh shit, I can- Oh! I did not mean to throw that on the floor. A chat, that was actually an accident. I can't close the drawer now to pick up the ring. Chat, should I put the wedding ring on or leave it at home today? Bro, what if I need to throw the ring in the fire though? Like, actually. Put it on. Chat, do we put the ring on today? Yes or no? Most people are saying yes, put the ring on. There's only a couple of no's. I've seen like three no's versus like a lot of yeses. Why wouldn't you? Well... Long story, but... What if something bad happens to me and I lose it? Let's put it on. We're also going to put the hat on. It's just like, what if something bad happens to me? Let's save that for later, too. Guys, I'm just bringing everything with me, because I don't really know what I'm preparing for right now, you know? Um, okay, we need to head to... The cot... The cotton... Wasn't it the co wasn't the tree called the cotton? Wait, fuck. 
I'm feeling super guilty about the walkie-talkie X. Yeah, I am. Because it, I actually didn't want to do that. Very, very, very deep, deep regrets about the walkie-talkie X, for sure. Cottonwood. Right, okay. Cottonwood. Go to Cottonwood Creek. Oh, wait, it's literally at the top. Cottonwood Creek. Five mile creek. Oh, oh shit. Okay, it's at the bottom. That's at the bottom. It's right there at the bottom. Chat, don't even try and pretend you saw that before I did, because I know you didn't. There's no way you saw that before I did. I don't believe it if you're saying you did. I'm just going to move this, because every time I look, the it's in the way a little bit. It's like blending in with the subtitles, and I, it's really distracting. Um, the quickest route is just straight down, I guess. Oh, wait, we also have the axe now, which means that we've unlocked a load of new areas. There aren't other tree named areas, so the hint is pretty obvious if the other guy has a map. Yeah, I, I don't really know. I don't, I don't get it. I think, I think the whole thing... D oh, wait, so, sorry, we need to go south. Yeah. Can I jump down here? No. I don't know. I don't really get what was happening. It definitely sounded like there was someone either in the room with her listening. Or... Someone she knew... Chat, can you please uh, get your pipes out in the chat so everyone can see them? I think it's pipe time. Holy shit, that just made me jump out my skin. Who actually did that? Kelly Beans, man? <laughs> he even got Soybean out here getting involved with the <laughs> Kelly Beans, thank you so much for the bits. I have missed a good pipe, man, honestly. Thank you, I appreciate it. We also have unlocked new areas. Hi, Bidor. How we doing today? Good to see ya. I don't think I've seen you since the subathon, maybe, unless I'm wrong. It's good to see you, though. I hope you're doing well. Hi, Leone. Hey, the books put themselves back. And the toilet roll's gone. Um, the other thing that could be happening is we could actually just be meeting Delilah in real life for the first time. Oh, you missed yesterday's stream? My bad. I hope you've been good, though. Hi, Amblebee. How we doing? A delicious Israeli salad. What is an Israeli salad? What does that consist of? Okay, we're gonna go... Uh, west. <laughs> CP Nelson. I'm glad you're good, Bidor. I'm doing really good, thank you. Cucumber, onion, and tomato with lemon juice and olive oil. Mmm. That sounds really good. That sounds great, actually. Holy shit, I'm hungry. That sounds really good. Okay, we are in Cottonwood Creek. What are we looking for? I mean, there's a high probability that we might get, like, attacked from behind or something right now. God, it's so pretty here, though. Holy shit. Maybe we should take a little picky. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, what was that noise? God, it's so pretty here. It looks like something out of um, Elder Scrolls Online or something. Oh, wow. Cool little picky here. Love it. Absolutely love it. The, the Rockies are truly... There's definitely rustling going on in these bushes, chat. I've actually seen the Rockies. Am I thinking of the right thing? Yeah, because when I went to Jackson Hole in Wyoming, I'm pretty sure we went by and drove past, like, we went and looked at the Rockies. I'm pretty sure it was the Rockies. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. 
It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's five six seven eight. Are you kidding me? Five six seven rush. eight. My boots scraping, baby. It's driving me crazy. My obsession with. The Three blind rats, that was already in there, and there's a new radio in here. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? We need to find out how they're doing it, why, everything. You understand? What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I just realized our character actually sounds a little bit like Sips, the streamer. You know that I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you, are you... Is any of this real? What? Are you serious? What if we're the one that had dementia? No, because that wouldn't make... That wouldn't even make this scenario realistic, right? No, I don't think that works, actually. Maybe I'm... I'm just... Maybe I'm... Just losing my mind. What? Like Julia. What happened to Julia? She, um, lost her mind. Her memory. Uh, the she fuck? has dementia. Oh, Henry. And now it's happening to me. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and, and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry, sweetie, I am real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second and then call me back. I'm on your side. Why is Delilah so nice all of a sudden? I don't get it. Like, Delilah was never nice and now all of a sudden she's really nice. The other thing I don't get is why did she need to bring the walkie-talkie to this lockbox and put it in this box? Why didn't she just bring it to us if, like, guys, hear me out, right? Delilah is all the way up in Thorofair Lookout, right? She's come all the way down here. She's gone straight past my lookout down to this lockbox. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand. Because they might be watching. Even if they're, but if they're watching that much, they're gonna know that she put something in this lockbox. And I'm not being funny, but you could just smash this with a fucking axe or something. Just because the code's different, it doesn't matter. Oh, is that what she was saying? She got the rangers to deliver the walkie-talkie. I didn't pick up on that. I know she said she spoke to the rangers. Is that true, chat? I didn't, I, some, that went over my head that bit. I, I, I really like how I'm just like so stressed out by this game though. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, break into Wapiti Meadow. Is 
Is Wapiti Meadow... It's up here, yeah, where the gate is, which we should be able to do now we have an axe, right? So I need to go... I just need to go north. 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 But also, yeah, I don't really understand. How has Delilah gone from, like, being... Yeah, I mean, we talk to Delilah, like, every day, but she was never really actually that nice to us. Um... Hey, uh... And now all I of a sudden she's the sweetest person ever. Not, um... Not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that... Why? ...went missing a few weeks back. Why? What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And... I didn't. I, I... I just didn't want to be hassled. And now, someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And... I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. <sighs> Fuck, Delilah. Indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Nope. <laughs> There's definitely a world where Delilah killed those girls. I definitely actually believe that's a possibility. She's also like roping us into it by saying we were the last people. Wait, what? I just said something about rope. Rope hook. Oh, I think it's... Oh, it's because I'm looking at that. My bad. Um, okay, we're going to go down there. <laughs> Delilah's a werewolf? Could be. Could be. <laughs> Thrillium, just think, you just think that Delilah's nice and we're all way too suspicious? Maybe. Maybe, honestly. Who knows? I just don't... Th that's what I can't wrap my head around is why is Delilah all of a sudden so lovely? That's what's changed. Delilah's gone from not believing anything we said. She didn't care that we got her over the head. In fact, it sounded like she just didn't believe us at all. And then all of a sudden she's like, hey, sweetie... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Fuck. She's like, hey, sweetie pie. And she's like with us. She's getting a secret radio to us. She believes everything. I don't understand. She's just like completely changed when she came on that radio after disappearing for six hours. Remember? She disappeared for six hours? And now she's all of a sudden really lovely and chirpy. I don't know why Delilah would kill teens. Like, forest rangers don't just usually kill people. Yeah, but there's all these other missing people. And she was like talking about how many people have like come and gone since she's been doing the job or whatever. And she could have just killed them. Or stitched them up and taken them to the fence where they're like doing tests on humans or something. Maybe she's just delivering people to the people behind the fence, you know? Maybe she's the middleman. Are we certain that Dave and Ron made it out of here alive? No. But it's weird because if Dave and Ron are the people that keep having the whiskey and the beers and we keep finding whiskey and beers everywhere and Dave and Ron, I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know what I make about the Dave and Ron thing because also someone is following us with like a walkie talkie and stuff and that could be Dave and Ron. I'm extremely confused by the timeline. I don't really understand the timeline either. Does this map have a date on it? Nah. I don't think it does. The whiskey and beers definitely belong to the teens, though. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm, like, gaslighting myself into, like, did the... 
I'm gaslighting myself to the point I'm like the twins don't even exist and it's all like a it's all like a frame job and like a, a plot. But that can't be right because we literally saw the we saw the teens. We saw the Am I saying twins? Did I just say twins? We saw the teens. I didn't mean to say twins. <laughs> we saw the twins. We saw the twins in the water, right? They shouted at us and called us a skeezer or whatever it was for like supposedly perving on them when we were actually just going to try and tell them not to let off fireworks and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I peeped on the tweens. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Hmm. We need to find where that tree was and see if we can cut it down. You're such a sneezer, truly, man. All I need to do is look at the sun. The tree was... Where was that tree that we could cut down to, like, get across? Oh, it's here. It's here. It's here. What's up, Solene? How we doing today? Hi, Sam Sue. Hi, Fair Bear. <coughs> Okay, we're gonna go across here because maybe I don't know if we need to go in here, right? But we're trying to get into Wapiti Meadow. There's a gate there which we need to unlock. Maybe we can unlock it with um our axe, but I was wondering if there's like secret hidden cache or some kind of like cool loot up here. I mean there's gotta be a reason we can come across here, right? Wait, maybe not. Maybe it's just like an escape route or another route. Looks like it's just another route. That's weird. Maybe it'll make sense later. This game is very pretty, yeah. I really like this game. The graphics are really cool. Hmm. <gasps> the thing is Oh fuck The thing is I, f I feel scared to tell Delilah anything Because I Smashed open the gate Should I try to fix or hide this No screw it Okay then <gasps> Wait a bee just tried to sting us Why is that the first time I got stung by a bee Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> um Okay, I can't call in this clipboard, so let's read it. Well, PT Station personnel, if you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August the 15th to October the 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the pur purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Bro, I don't know... We can keep that. I don't know if that bee sting should be slept on, because what if they're, like, doing, like, science experiments out here and the bees are, and are like, you know jacked up with some kind of poison or like something. Oh, it's really eerie music now. Oh, no, don't take a picture. I was trying to press C to crouch. There doesn't seem to be a crouch option in this game. You can't jump and you can't crouch. What the fuck is that? Why is it so shiny? 
I don't know if it's... Is that just, Maybe it's just like hundreds of millions of snails. Leaving splunge everywhere. Little splurges. Slimy splurge. Splooge. Splooge is a... Bro. What? Splooge is a nice word to say, if you think about it. Splooge. That's a fun word to say. S sp How come I'm seeing, like, all these insects all of a sudden when I never saw them outside of these gates? Maybe I should take a picture of this. This seems, like, important to s save. These look like they could be plots to grow things or they're trip wires, you know? What am I looking at? Uh, okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Who knows what else they're up to? Hi, Zazum. How you doing today? Good to see you. Has anyone ever told you that you look like a shoehorn? <laughs> ever, man. Don't ever say that to me ever again. I mean, there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Whoa. Oh god, I thought we were going dizzy then. Wait, follow the beeping device? Hold on, I haven't even finished cooling everything in yet. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Wait, ho oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we just, like, chill for a little bit? Fill generator Wednesday, when, when, Wednesday and Sunday. Frequent departure from Two Forks area. Beacon frequency, sex male, female, male, male. Uh, social role M-O-P-E-O-N-D. Neurodivergent? Avoidance behaviors. Consultant previous... Consult previous data. Unreciprocated unre unre desire for cop... Copulation. Oh wait, I can pick this up! Fuck! I'm sad. <sighs> sad. Fucking... Unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males. Disproportionate food intake. Avoidance behaviors, consult previous data, frequent departure from Two Forks area. So I think what this is, chat, is the different people... The different watchtowers. So this could potentially be our watchtower. Frequent departure from Two Forks area. This is probably Delilah. Kind of sounds like animals. Okay. Shit. Got another clipboard here that confirms that they're tracking our movements. The log they've got tracks the movement of four subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Yeah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Bro, this is... This game is so good.
It's like right there in the tent. I don't. Und oh, wait, is it the? Is there a body? It's a black box. Henry M. Delilah! Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What? What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. What Think is going on? It. Worst case scenario... Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! Susceptibility to manipulation. Oz was nine. It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Guys, I'm not going home yet. Holy shit. I'm just gonna go pee really fast. I will be right back. I don't know what to think. This is crazy. Holy shit, chat. This is actually so good. This game is so intense. Right, I'm just going to really quickly look at this a little bit more because I feel like we... Uh, I feel like we got rushed through that a little bit. We can keep these files, so I'm wondering if we can look at them later, but... So, we're on a 10-week program. Guilt-ridden, susceptible to influence, unsure of self, reliable. Observation report this is. Program status review, 10 weeks. Subject is fully engaged... Subject has fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full D cooperation. What's full D cooperation? Um, subject may be aware of test. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Right, let's keep that. And then Delilah's 10-week program, age 43, reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. 
Observed facts. Never married. No kids. Rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers despite no long... Despite long tie partner. Javier. Susceptibility to manipulation. Three. Um... There's so much stuff to look at here. You love Wyoming. Yeah, actually true. Yeah, that's true. Just hoof it. <laughs> hey, what? What does that mean? Tray of reports. Earthquake monitor. Um... Looks like I can call all this stuff in, but I don't know if I need to call it all in, right? Like, why would I call this in? Chat, do you think I should be calling, like, everything in that's possible to call in or not? You think I should be doing that? I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does and then get the hell out. Okay, let's just report it all in. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. Mm -mm. If they come back, and then I'm gonna sock them. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Oh shit, true. They've got a map with all sorts of paths and areas marked out on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? Uh, some of their descriptions seem like uncharitable ways of describing me, yeah. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. Cots? I don't know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out I before they come back. this is a cot. Um... Alright, I think we've called in everything that we can call in in here. I'm gonna go outside real quick, because there's loads of stuff out here I didn't call in. Wait. Wait, this thing's popping the fuck off again. Wait, what am I... I don't really understand. Hey, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or anyone out to see them. They definitely, definitely listen to us having walkie-talkie X, and that's so fucking embarrassing. But also really creepy that they would do that. Bro, I, I thought I just heard footsteps. Oh my god. I thought I could call this in, but now I can't. Oh well. Bro, this is scary. They're gonna know I've been here, like... I've, I've taken this thing with me, like, they're for sure gonna know we've been here. And of course they're gonna know it was me that was here. Stomp the soil grid? Wait, can I actually do that? Cause I'll do that. Oh no, you can't do that. We'll just run around on it anyway. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. Am I going the right way? Yeah. It looks like there's a... It looks like there's a little split here. No? Maybe not. Hi, Caitlin. How you doing? Hi, Raven. Wait, walkie cockied? Chat, you can't be- Bro. 
You can't, firstly, you can't say that. Secondly, it takes two to tango, you know. What's that way? This game's so good, I can't believe I've never seen it before. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it came out a, quite a long time ago. Oh, oh shit! Whoa. Shit! Uh, Henry? I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. What the fuck, Delilah? <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us? I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Nana, nah, nah, I'm so sorry. Thank you for the any gifters six minutes ago, by the way. The thing is, bro, they can just come in this place anytime they see me leave. And they're gonna see all of this. So that, yeah, the missing teens. Mitch. Oh. Oh. Wait, what's the. Oh, yeah. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just... <laughs> when the researchers ask Henry about the walkie-talkie X later? Bro, wait a sec. Goth boy, click. Yeah, that's correct. Can confirm. I've had sex. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bro, this is exactly why I need to do more React content. This is why. I'm so glad. I don't know. This clip has quite a lot of views, I guess. But I'm so glad. I don't think this... Um, Preview of the sponsored React stream this weekend. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. Yeah, that's correct. I don't think this clip's like made it to other streamers. I've never heard anyone talk about it. So I'm very glad about that. Because this clip out of context is absolutely fucking horrendous. Yeah, that's correct. Can confirm. I've had sex. Yeah, that's right. That clip is absolutely horrendous when taken out of context. Oh my god. Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No. I am getting drunk. Wait, I can't reply because of the map. Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. <laughs> my thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It had to have been it's something like in the... Proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. What is it?
What's what's going on? Where where is it? Hi anonymous crash by the way. We did have a Wemery stream today because we got the wordle in one again for the third time. In like a couple of weeks. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. Is there any way to just have... Okay, yeah, there we go. Um... I don't... I don't understand. I feel like it has to be inside the apartment, but it is telling me to follow it. Which makes me think it's not inside there. But we went down and it was just like really... Oh! Wait, it's directional! It's just saying it's the right direction, I think. Oh, I get it now. Sorry, I thought it was beeping because I was like so close to it. Yeah, okay. No, I get it now. I get it now. What the fuck is this taking us to? I'm I'm scared actually, chat. I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm definitely scared. Okay, look at the map. Um Maybe It can't be this way. They all said this is not a horror game. I think people said it's a thriller, but holy shit, it's kind of scary right now, yeah. Oh, is it going to be down by where that... What the hell is, is this good? It's a backpack. Shit, <gasps> Shit it's a trap! K452! Oh my god, the cave! B, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. I can't run, chat. You're this okay. is the fastest I can go. A trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's, there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing Bro. in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. Is this? I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. What? And it's not you. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. What? Guys, I, I somehow I'd completely forgotten about the person following us with Remember on the first day playing this game? There was the person following us with a torch. I don't know if you guys were here or not, but there was someone, like, watching us with a torch. And when I tried to chase them, they disappeared. But they went in the direction. 
of our lookout tower. Bro, oh my fucking god. Like, is there someone up here? There's no one here. There's no one here. I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. I can't go in. Guys, I'm I'm so scared. Wait, what the hell's that? Was that there the whole time? Wait, sorry, chat. I actually did. I did not see that. They're framing us. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the f I'm sweating in real life right now. Uh, Keo Raid, I'm so sorry. I don't know if I said thank you for the sub and I forgot, but I feel like I didn't. Thank you so much for the nine months. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. It's going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, what? I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Us? What's this us? You're the boss. I was just... What? Following orders? Look, you know I didn't start this fire. So you just tell them the truth, right? That's all you can do. Yeah. I suppose you're right. I know. Is that it? Hi, Wage and Weaver. Um. Alright, I guess we must be pretty near the end now. Goth boy, click. Happy Pride. Um, wait, is that snow? Or is it dust? Virgoth, thank you so much for the six months. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Happy Pride. This is very stressful, yes. Very, very fucking stressful. I kind of have like a little bit of a knot in my stomach. Like, honestly, I... Oh, butterflies a little bit. I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. Like, honestly. So we need to go north. North is that way. Okay. Holy shit, man. I thought it was something under my staircase then. Hi, Caramel Chameleon. You have probably missed a lot. Yeah, it's been... Wait, what's with that noise? It's, um... A lot has happened in this game today. I, I, I'm feeling what, like we probably must be pretty near to the end right now. I don't know. We've been playing a long time. The game is supposed to be a four hour playthrough. I'd say we've probably been playing this game for like, I don't know, maybe four hours now. 
I thought. But I'm a very slow gamer, I guess. Hey, also, you, oh, you didn't actually make that call, right? To to the other lookout. Fuck no. I was just stuck in my craw. I I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I'm not even going to answer that. But you could be lying to me too, you know. I, I'm not. Yeah? I hope not. You know, forget I asked. Okay, guys, we're officially going in the caves. We have the key. This could have the answer to, to all our questions right now. I really don't know what to expect, to be honest. This game's really got me on edge right now. Hell? Did the door just shut behind us? Jesus, this is a big cave. Wait, find a way out of the cave? We really just came in here, man. Entering the crack. Freezing in here. Oh, it's echoey. God, it is a big cave. Holy sh! Oh. Is anybody down there? It's like a Nike Dunk. Oh, it's a Jordan. Yeah, it's like a Jordan. Or is it like a Nike Dunk? I'm not sure. It's something. Oh. Oh. I just floated down. <laughs> Wait, I haven't swagged or langed or riz today. Holy shit. Nice, by the way, Asian diva. Yo, 91% riz? Two days in a row? Yo, holy shit. 91% riz? That's crazy. Two days in a row. Nice. Wait. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. <laughs> Asian diva, man. Guys, uh, are we, what are we thinking? Are we trusting Delilah at this point? Oh my, what's this? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. The Goodwins! Really? Yeah, he built himself a real <gasps> castle. Whoa! Five degrees north. Comic book. Whoa! He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. Bunch of rocks stacked up, he made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Wait, what the fuck? It's like a device to try and get that backpack back, which had his ropes and camera in, which obviously we've got now. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. 
I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Presumably, okay. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um... Oh. Now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. I don't know if... Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. I don't know if I don't trust Delilah anymore. I feel like I, I'm really confused. Uh, wait. Game character sheets, isn't it? There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, a pocket I guess, protector a data sheet for one Gladius Silva half unintelligible armor nerd stuff. Yeah. Seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you find this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors. Wait, climbing anchors! Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Plate, Nebraska. If you tell me your name and address, I'll give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's. I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box oh, or something. Oh, for sure, and Agent Diva. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Oh, wait. Because I just he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop oh. to it. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. The thing is, though, chat, Right. Why? There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. Isn't that sus, though? Like, with all this science shit everywhere, like... Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad in Landa, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neato. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell me, tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your good friend and neighbor, Brian. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Gosh. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Oh, I can't go down that way. I think it's uh, our goal now. Yeah, ex just explore deeper into the cave. Because I think while we were chatting away, I think we pick picked up the mining. No, sorry. The grappling hooks or whatever it is that we needed to go deeper in the mine. So, what's really fucking weird? Can we just go back up this way? No. 
What's really weird is that someone was following, like, right behind us, chat. Because they slammed the door on us as soon as we... Wait, how do I get out of here? They slammed the door on us as soon as we went in the door. So they were, like, right fucking behind us. Which is really scary. South. Wait, how do I leave? Okay, guys, what happened in the last 15 minutes? I'm not gonna lie, so much has happened. It's insane. Um, but basically, long story short is we've entered the cave. Is this, this is the kid's lookout, right? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, these are the climbing things we've got now. Um, basically, we're just exploring the deep, dark cave. Is Delilah still being framed? Um, we're both being framed, I guess. It looks like we're both being framed together. What do you think is in there? Um. I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? That's true, though. Hatchet. That is true. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Yeah, that's true. Actually, that's so fucking true. If we find something, like, really important in this cave, it could oh, stop us uh, also, from going to... Oh, girls turned up. <gasps> Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. No way! <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah. We've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Wait, so the teen girls that we thought <laughs> Delilah had killed, Delilah hadn't killed them. But that's great. That's great news that they're alive and fine. Do you not think it's sus that a lot of stuff Delilah said she likes, such as comic books and D&D stuff, is that? Yes. My immediate thought was how fucking it weird, weird it was that she was talking about, like, those D&D type characters. And then all of a sudden, there's D and D like style notes. That's very weird. Yes, very strange. Very, very strange. I I'm still really torn on whether I trust Delilah or not. Because I'd say for ninety five percent of this game, I have not trusted Delilah. It's only recently I've trusted her a little bit more, but I still just feel very unsure. Hi, Brig. Just on prep period during the school day. I hope that's going well. Thank you for stopping by. Hi, Crash. Welcome back. She was talking about how Brian liked those things, not how she liked them. Oh, wait. No, you're right. But the only thing is, guys, can you please, like, jog my memory? What's Delilah's relation to, to Brian? What is the relation there? Like, because we've never met Delilah, and it says that Delilah never really leaves her lookout. So how come she was hanging out with them all the time and knows this stuff all about them? Oh, they talked on the radio. They were vaguely friends who communicated on the radios. <laughs> Brian's dad was Ned, who was stationed at Two Forks. There you go. So the dad was stationed at Two Forks, which is where we are stationed now. That's our lookout tower. We don't know what's happened to them. Okay. All right. I'm with you. Thank you for the little... Uh... Hmm. So Delilah dropped her radio bay for a new one and old radio bay's mad. We don't know. We don't know who it is that's mad, but they did have a radio. 
So you might be onto something because we found that radio and then we got. Who's that? Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god. You're Brian Goodwin. It's. God. Bro, there's no shot they're wearing a crypto t-shirt. What the fuck? Wait, maybe it's not like crypto though. It's like crypto. It's probably like crypto something else. Like cryptology. Crypto science. Radio it? I don't think I could. <laughs> sorry guys, sorry. Sorry, you're right. No, I can't radio it. Climb. Oh, it's because I'm in the cave. I can't use my radio, I don't think. Wait, so... Oh, God, that's actually fucking horrendous. So what does this mean for... I've forgotten his name already. Gus? Gus. Guy. Gus. I think it looks like he just fell. I don't think he was killed. But no, someone might have cut his wire. Because there's some fucking freaks in this forest. Ned. That's it, Ned. We don't know what this means for the dad, Ned. But obviously it's absolutely awful. Because no matter what, Ned's going to know that his son has not come back. So it's it's absolutely awful either way. Uh, Price of Fame, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, how you doing? Oh god. And if anyone's new here, don't forget to follow the stream. I'd really appreciate that. We must be really near the end, guys, because uh, we've been playing a long time. I feel that already. Thanks, Lisa, man. That means the world, actually. Truly. Uh, Doobie, thank you so much for the follow. Wait, what the fuck? Why did Tubbo just give me a shout out? Wait, what's happening? Bro, Tubbo just gave me a shout out, and now it's like I'm literally getting follow botted. There's so many people following me right now. What just happened? <laughs> oh, wait. Tubbo just raided. Wait, why were we... We were speaking about Tubbo earlier. Why were we speaking about Tubbo earlier? Yo, thank you so much for the... Hi, Tubbo. Hi, Tubbo raiders. Thank you so much for stopping by. Guys, I literally feel like I'm getting follow-botted right now. I feel like I'm getting follow botted. There is so like there is so many people following the stream. It's like a follow bot. The only time I've ever seen my followers look like that before is when I got follow botted. <laughs> Holy shit! Thank you so much, Tubbo, for the raid. I really appreciate it. You're an absolute legend. We were talking about you earlier, but it was I'm I don't know why. We were definitely talking about you earlier though. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome raiders. My name is Koji. My pronouns are he and him. I just got back from a, a long break of uh, off of streaming, actually, because I did an uncapped subathon, much like Tubbo did. Uh, I didn't go quite as long as Tubbo. I think I did 22 and a half days, and I really needed some time off like that uh, after that. But holy shit! That is just so many followers. I wish I could say thank you to each and every one of you, but I just simply can't. There is just too many of you, but I, I really appreciate it, and thank you so much. Uh, I don't know if you're here, Tubbo. Holy fuck! We hit 75,000 followers and way, way more than that. Oh my god, guys. Tubbo is good. Yeah, Tubbo is very good. You're right. We love Tubbo. Tubbo, Tubbo is the only streamer that, like, actually bullied me during my subathon. Tubbo would just join the call just to fucking torment me and make it so much worse. But it's all, it's, I, I, I forgive him. I forgive him. Um, Tubbo, I don't know if you're here, but thank you so much for the raid. You're an absolute fucking legend. And we should, we should game soon. We should do something soon. We should hang out soon. Um, thank you so much, guys. My goal was 75,000 followers. Uh, and we just absolutely flew past that. And 75,000 followers is, like, such a landmark number, you know? Like, you got 25k, you got 50k, you got 70... Like, that's such a, like, 75. It's such a big landmark. And we just hit that. And we also absolutely flew past it. So thank you so much, guys. You are still following the stream. Um, 
yeah, Tur Tubbo kept joining the call and serenading me. Uh, but it was actually amazing. Uh, anyway, yeah, Tubbo, again, I don't know if you're still here, but thank you so much for the raid. You're an absolute champion. And uh, Tubbo Raiders, thank you so much. Once more, my name is Koji. My pronouns are he and him. We're actually playing a he and him. Yeah, did I? Bro, I, my brain. <gasps> We're one follower off 75.3k? I think we just hit that. Thank you so much, guys. I am playing Firewatch for the first time ever. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> Bro, this is, without question, the strongest raid I have ever seen in my life. Thank you so much, everyone that's followed the stream. You guys are absolutely crazy. No word of a lie. I've been streaming three years. This is the strongest raid I've ever seen in my life. You guys are fucking crazy. Sorry, I'm not PG. Oh, wait, Tubbo's not PG either. That's fine. Tubbo swears, right? Tubbo swears, I think. I'm pretty... Wait, Tubbo swears, right? Yeah, Tubbo swears. Uh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, he does. I swear. Yeah, Tubbo swears a lot. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Yo, swearing? Cool. <laughs> um, Wow, I'm actually... I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit flustered. I was not expecting that. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this game before. Um, but this game is called... God, I'm so flustered. It's called Firewatch, and it's an absolutely incredible game. If you haven't played it or watched it before, I highly, highly recommend you play it or watch it. This is my first ever playthrough. It's not a new game by any means, so most of you have probably heard of it before. It's a very beautiful game, but it's also... Um, it's kind of dark, and it's like a thriller, and there's a lot going on. Um, so if you guys would like to stick around, I'd love to have you. We are on 75,344 followers. That is absolutely fucking insane. Thank you so much. We literally just found a dead body, and it was a really sad moment. And then Tubbo... What was that? And then Tubbo raided. Um, kitten drops, I'm going to say thank you so much for the gifted sub to Anonymous Crash right now, because um, that's probably not going to come up for a really long time. I guess at this point, I'm just going to absolutely milk it and say, if you came through on the raid and you haven't hit the follow button and you feel generous and you're feeling kind today, please don't forget to hit that follow button because that is absolutely crazy and it's now road to uh, 100k followers, which will be my first ever 100k, which is really fucking exciting, actually. That's like such a landmark for, uh, I guess, for anyone that's a creator will understand, you know. I was pre-followed, shout out you. I mean, I've, I've, me and Tubbo have gamed before and stuff. But not that often. But we've definitely interacted on stream a couple of times. Um, anyway, thank you so much, every single one of you guys, for the follow. You guys are amazing, and I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you've got to get going, that's totally fine. Like I said, if you want to stick around, I would love to have you guys. We are having a really good time with this game. Uh, we're actually just about to report the body we found in the cave. Um, and it's probably not going to go down so well. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Oh. Wait. Uh, I'm sorry, D. We should say I think. Hey, I am. Uh, I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. About what? You're freaking me out. Oh God. He's in there. What are you saying, Henry? The only thing in the cave is Brian. He's dead. His body is in the cave, Delilah. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Like you didn't know that, Delilah. No. Mm. Mm. I don't. How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alexa, by the way. That's really sweet. Maybe it was Ned? Wait, what? I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave, and and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever Wait, what? In there that's probably messed didn't up. Know about him. We should have told someone about him. What does that mean? I'm sorry, guys. Delilah, I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. What? What does... what do you mean we're leaving tomorrow? Also, there is still people following the stream, and thank you so much, guys. I really, really appreciate it. That is honestly... Wait, we're packing! We're actually leaving?!
guys. Oh, we're leaving because of the fire? You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. What the fuck? That's only just what, come up? the June fire or the site fire? Or... That's how unbelievably strong that raid was. Goth boy clip. Disaster. Whoop. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't Guys. we <laughs> talk for a sec? You know, about things? About what? Wait. About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does Let's there? keep that. Maybe, maybe not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Wait, guys, oh, my tracking device fuck. is beeping again. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, Guys, I've already... I, I've already, uh, um... Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, yeah. If, if something happens... Bro, these pine cones! I mean, could this be a trap? Are walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. Guys, you keep telling, you keep asking me. Thank you so much. You guys are still following the stream. You guys are insane. That is the strongest raid I have ever had on Twitch in my life. Turbo is fucking crazy, seriously. Um, these pine cones remind me of that game we played with the pine cone family. Um, Franbo. I want to take Shelly, guys, but I don't think you're understanding. I can't just, like, put Shelly in a box or in my pocket right now. Uh, I think Shelly Deval is just safer here for now. Um, we've already adopted Shelly, guys. That's why, that's why Shelly's here with us. Oh, Eggs Afton, thank you so much. That's such a lovely message. You love to see it, man. Thank you. We gotta cheese it, Shelly. Oh, wait, okay, you guys are right. I'm so sorry. We can hold E and put Shelly in our pocket. Perfect. Thank you, guys. I actually would have been devastated if we left Shelly behind. Shelly deserves the world. And we're going to give Shelly the world when we get out of this place. Why are you guys saying you had to wait 10 minutes to chat? Wait, why are all the Tubbo Raiders only able to speak now? Why? What? Wait, guys, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. My stream is never in follow-only mode. Wait, what? I, I was wondering why they, like... Oh my god, you guys are free! I'm so sorry! I don't know what happened. I've never had follow-only mode on in my life. Ever. What the fuck happened? Guys, you're free! I'm so sorry! Honestly, it might have been like a shield mode thing. Like, maybe my stream genuinely thought we were getting follow-botted or something. I was wondering, I was like, wait, all these people are following, but none of them are speaking in chat? I thought that. I was like, this is so weird. And then I thought, oh, it's probably an issue with Twitch where the raid hasn't gone through properly. And they're in, because like, I remember there used to be a glitch where you'd raid someone, but your chat would stay in your own chat. So like, I could raid Tubbo, but you, the raiders would have stayed in Koji chat. Guys, I don't know what happened. That is like so unlucky. My stream has never been in follow only mode ever. Thank you for letting us know, and welcome, Raiders. Um, I am so... <laughs> I am so sorry. I can't believe you guys waited 10 minutes to speak. You poor fuckers. <laughs> oh, you're free. Wait, also, crazy that you had to wait 10 minutes to speak in follow-only mode. I, I, it must have been some kind of 
weird shield mode or something. I don't know what happened, but I'm so sorry. And welcome, guys. <laughs> Wait, that's... That's kind of funny, though. That's kind of funny. Also, uh, <laughs> maybe those people wouldn't have followed. I don't know. Um, Hello, Raiders. I am so sorry. Welcome in. Brian, thank you so much for the Dodger down. Um, there is so many first-time chatters, and it is so lovely to meet you guys. And I'm so sorry. Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, I am so sorry that you couldn't speak in chat. That has never happened before. It'll never happen again. <laughs> Wait, did someone say we've been through hell? <laughs> I just want you to know, I think it is so incredibly sweet that you guys actually followed and then waited 10 minutes to say hello in chat. You guys are so much more patient than I am because if I joined a raid and the person was in follow-only mode, I would have been like, nah, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Um, This game is really, really interesting. Wait, you guys are so sweet. And honestly, you guys deserve the world for being that patient. I am very, very impressed. Um, <laughs> Tubbo's lost his house? What do you mean? Is Tubbo okay? My freedom was snatched from me? <laughs> All right, now you guys are just being dramatic, man. But <laughs> Brian, thank you so much for the Dodger downs. That's really sweet. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Tubbo lost custody of his house. I feel like there's a story behind this. You don't just lose custody. He lost a lot. You laugh, you lose with James Marriott. Holy shit, I love James Marriott. I would... That's very brave to do a you laugh, you lose with James Marriott. I don't know. I feel like that's really fucking brave of Tubbo to even do that. I would not do that. Um, Clifford, thank you so much for the gifted sub. So many Dodger Downs, so many first-time chatters. I can finally say hello properly. Um, so... Wait, James chose to raid me? Bro, I swear to God, James Marriott takes my fucking breath away how much I love that guy. I've only met James Marriott, like, I don't know, three, four times. I don't- you know when you have, like, that instant connection with someone? Like, I'm not very good at, like, meeting new people. I'm quite a shy person. I'm, like, socially anxious and stuff. Um, every time I've met James, we've ended up just hanging out and chatting for, like, really long times. I basically hung out with James Marriott more than anyone else at the last TwitchCon. And I wasn't even planning on meeting up with James or anything. He's just, like... I don't know. You know, James Marriott's a bit of a goblin, right? Like, everyone knows it. He is a bit of a goblin, but... He's also such a fucking lovely guy. I adore him, man. I actually adore James Marriott. I think he's so great. Um, anyway, James Marriott's idea to raid me. What an absolute legend. That guy is boosting my career. What a fucking champion. Um, I'm going to go back to the game. <laughs> I can't believe you guys waited 10 minutes. You guys are literally the best. That's, that's amazing. I will never forget this day now. Um, basically... We are risking it all, it seems. We're going out into this uh, sandstorm, firestorm, smokestorm. Um, sorry to anyone like New York, etc. that are like really going through this right now. I hope you guys are okay and I hope you're safe. And this game feels really inappropriate to be playing right now. But um, we were already playing it before, I promise. Um... I'm really happy for the raid. I feel like I've uncovered a hidden gem. This stream is 100% my vibe. Why are you guys so... Why are you guys so sweet? What the fuck? Our voices can now be heard. Um, I don't know. I, Tubbo Raiders, I just want you to know you guys are so, so sweet. And I really appreciate you. And you are so lovely. And Kelly Beans, you absolute champion. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. This is what it looked like yesterday. Guys, I have seen like snippets, like pictures and videos of what it's like. And I honestly, I really hope you guys just stay safe and it must, I can't even imagine how scary it must be. Um, so just stay safe and look after yourselves, okay? I can't imagine looking out my window and seeing this, like it's, that's not cool. Um, I, guys, there is so many lovely messages in the chat right now. I just want you to know I can see all your messages and I still feel so bad about the follow only mode thing, but um, 
hey, everything happens for a reason, right? And I feel like it's actually, <laughs> it's made the real ones stick around and watch the stream. And I really appreciate that. Um, also, I love Tubbo's emotes. Every time people use Tubbo's emotes, I always love them. Um, you guys are so sweet. I know, isn't it surprising? Tubbo has literally like the loveliest community in the world. <laughs> um, how do you pronounce Koji? Like, j Just Koji, yeah. I'm very lucky in the sense that most people... I think I've been called Koji once in my entire content creation career. Um, I'd have got to go sadly, but I'm happy I found you. I'm following you now. Thank you, guys. New comfort streamer unlocked. Wait, you guys are so cute. Frog Bygol. I love your name, by the way. Thank you for all the follows. Kelly Beans, thank you so much for the five gifted. Clifford, thank you so much for the gifted. You guys are amazing, and I love you. Thank you so much. Um, I am not doing the worm. Your hair is so cool. Thank you, guys. Also, if while you're here, if you'd like to follow my socials, all the links are in the... Well, they should be in the chat, but it's not working. All my links to my socials are in the chat, and if you'd like to join our community Discord, that's also there, too. Um, I really appreciate you guys following, because we hit such a big follow goal today. There's so many of you guys, like... I'm reading all your messages. I obviously can't reply to all of them, because you guys are blowing up the chat right now, but you guys are all saying, like the loveliest things uh people are saying they got to get going but they'll be back and stuff and um look after yourselves have an amazing rest of your evenings and if you guys ever come back that'd be amazing we'd love to have you and um we're also five followers off of 75.4k and also we're on a level three hype train so thank you so much you are so indescribably comfy no one has ever said that to me before and i really love that <laughs> that's such a nice thing to say <laughs> What the hell? Wait, I Tubbo's community? I didn't actually know you guys are so lovely. What the heck? I'm gonna follow you on all your socials. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm actually really look, I listen I love Tubbo. I think Tubbo's great. I just didn't realize he had such an unbelievably wholesome community. What the hell? Wait, what you guys are literally saying the nicest things in the world. I can't believe <laughs> I just want you to know, like, that I'm an oversharer, massively, and I've been having a very sad day today because I had some bad news, like, everything's fine, but I had some really disheartening and just upsetting news. I was really excited about something, and I got some bad news about it. Not the end of the world, right? Um, but this stream today, and now this raid, has absolutely made my day. Honestly. You guys have absolutely made my day, seriously. Cherry, thank you so much for the gifted sub, an Asian diva. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. These alerts aren't going to go off for such a long time. Um, holy shit, man. I am feeling the love. Um, Asian Diva, thank you so much for the five gifted. And thank you for the hype train. Holy shit. Miss Alice, thank you so much for the gifted sub as well. I really appreciate it. And thank you. Everyone that's saying I, like the vibes and stuff are so comfy here. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. And I'm sorry for the beeping in the background. It's this stinky device. But it's kind of what we do here. We just do, like, very comfy, cozy streams. Unfortunately, most times it ends up being pretty chaotic. We try to ride that wave of comfy, cozy, chaotic. It's a it's a special mixture that I'm a very, very fond of. If I'm having a comfy day, chat will be so fucking chaotic. If I'm having a chaotic day, chat will be pretty wholesome most of the time. Um, comfy chaos, yeah. Thank you so much for the follows and thank you for the gifted subs. I am on Instagram. All my socials are in the chat. I would absolutely love to have you guys on my socials. I'm actually really upping my social media game this year. <laughs> I, I'm quite quiet on socials, but I'm really trying to get into um, TikTok and stuff, you know? Uh, oh! Wait. Wait, we're getting hot. We're getting really hot. Basically, if you're wondering what's going on, we're following this beeping device. You know what, guys? For anyone that's actually genuinely... St we hit 75.4k followers. Holy shit. That is insane. We weren't even on 75k today. Thank you, Chewy Lemon. I really appreciate it. For those of you that have been so wonderful that you've stuck around, I actually feel obliged to tell you what's going on in this game. We are a Firewatch person. That is the role in this game. 
we basically joined the Firewatch to get away from our previous life. Our ex, uh, no, sorry, not our ex-wife. Our wife basically had early onset dementia, like really young. It was really awful, horrible start to the game. She ended up moving with her family in Australia and we ended up coming and joining this, I guess for like an escape and like a, probably just try and clear our mind and think things through and just have some time alone. Then, uh, since we've been on this, we've been on a, we basically have a walkie-talkie. There's a couple of other people that work here doing Firewatch 2, and one of them is called Delilah. Um, we've been interacting with Delilah a lot. The problem with Delilah is um, we don't know if we trust Delilah. Um, and there's also people like... Basically, we're in the middle of nowhere in a forest, and there are people tracking us. And they are, like, writing down what we've been doing. They're, like, taking notes on us. They're following us. Someone hit me in the back of the head out of nowhere when we found, like, some secret notes. They had been, like, writing down our conversations and stuff. It's it's honestly one of the best games I've played. It's amazing. Um, and right now, what we're doing, it, this tracking device, we actually stole from the people that are tracking us. Um, and it seems to lead to, like, secret things, like hidden things and stuff. So we're gonna follow this beep and hopefully find out, like, s some more about the people that are following us. Because right now, we don't really know who they are and why they're doing this to us. Um, so it's a really, really cool concept for a game. Also, there is still so many people following. Thank you so much. And thank you for the level 5 hype train. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. No matter how many... Yeah, honestly, and every time I've ever heard people speak about this game, they absolutely love it. And goodbye, everyone that's got to get going. I really appreciate you What's stopping by. Uh, we are I getting close. close. Alright, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. Oh. You <gasps> sound worried. No, it's... It's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point. We're gonna grapple out. down here. Um, yes, I also do, I do have VODs. I have a, a VODs channel. If you, my, my, I have two YouTube channels. My main channel and my Koji Plays channel, which is basically just all my game playthroughs. Um, but everyone that's got to get going, thank you so much. I really appreciate you stopping by and showing some love. And I hope you have the amazing rest of your days. And I hope to see you guys again soon. And thank you again, because there's still people following the stream. Um, we are about to potentially meet Delilah for the first time ever, by the way. We've been talking to De Delilah the entire game. Oh. And we've actually never seen her in real life yet. Only over the walkie-talkies. Oh, <gasps> wait, what is that? It's a cas- Wait, there's a collar? There's an arrow that's pointing up and says Henry. Just so you guys know, we are Henry. We're Henry. And there's a cassette tape. And we're going to report this in to Delilah on the radio. <gasps> Bidor! A rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's Bidor, you thank you so much for the there's five gifted subs. I really appreciate Someone it. That is insane. Me here. Thank you, Bidor. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Wait, do you know what's really weird, though? Is I can't actually... Oh, there we go. Thank you, Bidor. I really, yeah, really hi, appreciate Henry. it. Hi, Adventure Hen. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to... Just FYI, this is Ned. We're listening to a tape from Ned. Ned is the person... So we found a dead person in the cave. It was actually Ned, uh, Ned's son, Brian. Uh, which is obviously really tragic and really sad. Um... So this should be really interesting. Fine. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for Croc's sake. What? I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up and Delilah. She's a She's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about...
about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck is happening? Is Ned the person that's been following us the whole time? It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... Wait, he's talking about how Brian died. He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. What, you just left your... For me. Sorry about your wife. Wait, guys, I'm so confused. Is he confessing just to a cassette? Or is that him telling... Does... Does Delilah know? Did Delilah already know about Brian? He definitely... <laughs> we found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just Guys, do you know what? I kind of low-key called it a little bit. Because remember when I said, isn't it really sus that there's all these really scientific drawings? Remember when we, f we found the kids' area, and there was like these really scientific drawings. And I was like, isn't that sus with like the satellite shit going on? Just him. That could win. But remember, the tape? there's yeah. three beds. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Hike north to thoroughfare lookout for evacuation. So this is, yeah, this is gonna be, okay, we're just gonna leave, I guess. What? What's this? <gasps> Wait, improvised hatch? Huh? Wait, what? What is this? Teen magazines, Wizard and Wyverns, role-playing book. Father's Day's card to a rad bad a meg a uh, mega a mega lol dad um he oh god Dinosaur. Dinosaur. just some of brian's stuff he held on to some of brian's things his wizards and wyverns <gasps> oh shit no i wanted to look at that picture did i ah oh. Oh wait, I might have just dropped it at my feet, actually. Oh crap, I don't know what I just did with that picture. No, I wanted to see that. I think it was a picture of his son. Damn it, I don't know what happened to that. I think it's, I think it's... No, that's not it. Okay, all right, never mind. Okay, so this is research site info. Wait, how to break in? Wait, what? Return borrowed equipment, erase hard drive and evidence, leave no trace. So. Guys, I'm so fucking confused. Holy he shit. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet.
Oh no. my god! Wait, these alerts are so far behind, by the way. I'm not, by the, I just, I don't want anyone to think I'm not saying thank you for the subs. These are from like 10 minutes ago. The, the, the alerts are just so delayed because, um, <laughs> the alerts are so delayed. This is talking about breaking into the Wapiti station, which is where the research station is. So... Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Wait, has she stopped replying to us? Wait, Subject Henry. Program status review. Observational traits, fuck. Guilty. <laughs> Do you fuck. Guilty. That wasn't funny. Delilah. Pro program status review. There's no, there's just exclamation mark E on the week. Report. Henry. Observational traits. Keeps to the path. Passive. Guilty. Forthright. No kids. Abandoned wife of 11 years. Would not be missed if removed. Supervisor. SGN. God damn it. What's going on? Why? Sleeping bag from the teens campsite question mark? List of supplies. Oh my god! Um, thank you for the follows, by the way. There's still people following. You guys are amazing. It does look like he might have attacked the teens, yeah. Winter needs, 1989. 2,000 ounces of propane. Cords. Winter jackets. Food, matches, blankets, socks, 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 new boots, duct tape, try elk skin, summer weight gain goal. Hmm. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. Goodbye, strawberry. Have a lovely rest of your day. Delilah's not responding to us at all. This boombox looks familiar. I'm sorry. Oh, there I don't we go. Know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember oh. it. Oh, you're not? I don't know. I'm going to take pictures. That's a great idea. Goodbye, everyone that's got to get going. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out. I hope you have a lovely rest of your days. Miss Alice, thank you so much for the gift. It's up to Strawberry. So that is so incredibly cute. I really, really appreciate it. I'm glad to have stuck around. This is so interesting. You've definitely joined at a really good time. The view. You've joined at a time where it's like all coming to a close. So everything we've been working towards He's got is a like... radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Yeah, he's been sat here listening oh to our God. conversations on the walkie-talkies. This is how we knew everything. Oh this is how we knew. Oh my God, logs. First range of fly fishing at Jay Lake. Rainbows hitting cad flies. Saw Mama Grizz on morn morning hike. Haven't left base in two weeks. New lookout in 2F, Henry. Saw 2F coming out of cave. D calling for hikers list. Delay, sh delay her, she'll forget. Wait, delay her, sh Wait, is this? Guys, wait, is there a world where... He's helping us? Hike to BT point, severed radio coming. So it was him. That severed the brain, the the brain, the radio communications. Not the teens, which I said all along. Why would teens be severing radio communications? That's just fucking weird. Uh, D never called for hiker list. Re rigged Delano to pick up dual frequency. You can hear D in two effort con at concur concurrently, so you can hear everyone talking. Two F hiked by cave seemed less interested. Two F Jules, Julian, Julia. D drunk again. Okay, all right. These are, he's just like listening to everything we're doing. But he might be helping us. 
get a room, reminder, scout migration due to fire, fucked up, do not want to leave, reminder, hide supplies for migration. Observe and be ready to leave. Ideas start working on reports. Record all comms. Vandalize D's tower. Pin on 2F. Okay, no. He's not helping us. Try to make remote recording device. Uni research site. Move. Pit against each other. No, he's not helping. Unless he's helping by trying to get us to want to leave. Um, stakes too high. No one will believe B was happy. Make D and 2F less believable. 2F is crazy like wife, not good guy. Mama Grizz is back. They heard me. I fully believe there is a program. Use this. Recorded recorded call used for leverage. 2F found supplies. How? Keys are gone. Can't let 2F find B. Chat, I have to go pee. While I go pee, try and figure out what the fuck find B is. Because we are 2F, I think. I do, I do know. Okay, guys, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure 2F is us, right? I'm pretty sure, two, yeah, 2F is crazy like wife, not good guy. 2F is two females. No, 2F crazy like wife, not good guy. Oh, B is for Brian. I can't let 2F find Brian. Oh, 2F is for two forks. Right, that makes a lot of sense. Two forks is where we are stationed. That's my watchtower. That's the name of my watchtower. <sighs> okay. Well, we did find Brian. So, interesting. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye, sadness. Um, right, clothesline. Am I? No, this thing is not even beeping anymore. Okay, where am I? Hike north to Thoroughfare Lookout for evacuation. Where am I right now? I'm at this bunker. I think it looks like we're going to have to go back the other way. Yeah, I can't even go this way. Pile of trash. I think we're going to have to go back this way, yeah. I mean, we must be right at the end of the game now, I'm pretty sure. Bro, hey, new followers, watch this. Kaniki, what is actually wrong with you? Why would you... Why would you do that? Why would that be the thing you think would be a thing to do? Of all the things you could do, you chose to do that. You've been saying that for an hour? Yeah, well, uh, bro, I don't know. I definitely, obviously, I know I'm a slow player of games because I like to look at everything. Um... But, I mean, it feels like it must be coming to an end. Oh my god. I don't like when you're going down this that I can't really look what's below me. I also... I can't take the collar. I kind of like to put the collar on. We need to head... Uh, what's the quickest way that way? Alright, we need to head this way, and then we're gonna go directly north the whole way. As soon as we can go north. Is that not north? Wait! Oh, that's the helicopters, yeah. Uh, that's east, right? Yeah, okay, we do need to go east. That's fine. We need to go this way. I can't believe you left the son's body in that cave. I know. How could you, man? I still don't really understand. Like, why is he so obsessed with following us and Golf listening to boy, us? Click. Is it because... 31 months of Wemery's Wee Woo Wee Woo. Yo, the Wemery's. Elyon, thank you so much for the 31 months. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, I know I am. Thank you. Elyon, 31 months is a really, really long time. Holy shit, thank you. He didn't want you to find the body. The thing is... I don't know, because... Do you think he loved Delilah a little bit? 
relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. You guys don't think he loves Delilah. He so you just think... Kid with a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's literally just that then. Delilah, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. Oh, we've never been this way before. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. Um... You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. B. Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. I still hey. don't... <laughs> I still don't feel like no, I trust one more. Yes, Delilah. Here, yeah, yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Which way? Oh. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. What? Wait. What if uh, they don't come back? D. What if they don't come back for me? They'll come back. That's their job. Huh? Just what if we missed something about uh, something? I don't know. Wait. Henry, you're tired. There's nothing big going on. They'll come back for you. There's nothing Just... big going on. Wait. I'm gonna go. What? Okay. If you have to. I have to. Hike safe. Are you fucking kidding me? No, there's no shot. There's no shot. Nah, there's no shot. She really left us? Did she even really tell them about us? Guys, even after the walkie talkie X, I know. Guys, I'm, I can't believe it. I can't believe she's left us. What the fuck? She's such a snake. You took forever poking around and there's a giant fire spreading. Bro, is that actually the reason she's left or was she just going to leave anyway though? She left us and Shelly. Yeah, how could she? Uh, I don't know, Julia. That, I can't... I don't know if you should watch now or watch the VOD. That's honestly your call. We're... Oh. Wait, wrong way. This way. Oh, guys, I actually... She told them about you, though. I don't even know if that was real. That's how much I don't trust her. Kind of off topic, but I really like the music. No, this game has such good music, honestly. We've been saying it the whole time. Really, really good music in this game. She's now your walkie-talkie ex doob man. Fuck. I'm devastated that, that Delilah's gone without us. After everything. There's something to not be trusted about Delilah. I, I don't know, chat. What if she was in on Brian's death and now she's hoping he'll get left behind and die in the fire? Did, I can't remember. No, Delilah, no. Because Delilah told us to go in the cave. Delilah straight up told us to go in the cave. So she wasn't trying to hide it. 
Who was she talking to at the beginning? Oh my god, that's right. For those of you that don't know, Delilah was talking to someone on when we were on the walkie-talkie, and she left her walkie-talkie on so we could hear her talking to someone. Bro, if this thing just falls off, <laughs> imagine this is just a stitch up and this thing is broken, and Delilah's just stitched us up, stitched us up. The call with her and Julia never got explained either. Yeah, I'm putting that down to like... N oh wait, no, because she... It wasn't a night terror or anything because Delilah knew about that call. Bro. This is it. This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Bro, you can't even see anything out the windows anymore. This is where Delilah has been this whole time. I'm searching everything. Bro, like, where is everything cool? Where's all the cool stuff? Oh, wait, there's the drawing she did of us. Wait, it actually looks like us a little bit. Shelly's on there. There's also a bear on there, though. Redneck Grebe. Magnificent... F Wait, what the hell? I-S-R... Wait, we just ate that. <laughs> wait, we can eat that? Oh, wait. Radio headset. Equip. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red? Colorado plates? Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Hey, that's a man's pickup you're talking about. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. Bro, yeah. this game is so confusing. It's literally, I'm sat in my own mind gaslighting myself. Like, Delilah was never here. She was never in this watchtower. She's been somewhere else this whole time. We prevented... I know she was here, fire. but I'm telling myself she wasn't. Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, she had the pork pond sign all along. And I'll choose for you. She took the sign. <laughs> all right, sure. Wait. Um, maybe. Oh shit! Well, you'd make a great shrink. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You spent 10 weeks with me, and God knows how much therapy it's going to take to undo this experience. Well, you're a good conversationalist, I guess. Thanks. I try. I mean, you definitely still have some stuff to learn at shrink school. Like, a lot of stuff. Noted. So, um, what about me then? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. 
Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Henry, I... Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. My brain actually hurts, like, so bad. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... Uh, I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's yeah, I don't know. Counter. I think the choices I'm making definitely affects the ending I'm going to get and the story. But at the same time, chat, like, I can't just, like... They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. Fuck. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Bye, Hank. Wait, the helicopter's coming back! Is there anything else here that's like really important before we go? There might be something we're missing. I don't know. I don't know if there is. This game is cool. This game is amazing, honestly. This game is so good, but I really don't know. Those choices at the end were really, really, really tough. Like those choices were so difficult. They were the hardest. I call my cat Hank. Thanks for sharing. Dude, thanks so much for sharing that, man. You're so brave. Where, where is this fucking helicopter? I hear it, but I don't see it. What am I supposed to do right now?
got to be an ending where you can romance, um... Wait, that's so cool. You can just go, like... Wait, that's so cool. There's, like, different, different ways to play the game. You can just go free roaming or play the game with the commentary by the team. That's sick. Alright, let's watch an explanation video really quickly. Uh, I kind of do want to see the other endings pretty bad. Firewatch explained. There's like 15 endings? The thing is, I would love to play this game again. God, seven years ago, it is an old game. I don't know which one of these videos to watch. They all sound pretty good, to be honest. You guys like this wallpaper? I actually have a link set up for the wallpaper. I think it's exclamation Golf mark click. background or Less something, or desktop or wallpaper. Coach. Yo, nice Tazzy, you thank you so much for the 29 three. months. I really appreciate it, thank you. I don't think I'd play this game again. 15 endings and it's like a four or five hour game every time. I don't think I'd play it for all the endings, you know? Um, that's a theory video. The Firewatch Iceberg Explained Deep Dive 10 minute video. Nah. Um, maybe we'll just watch the... This one's shorter, so I'm always going to pick the shortest one. I'm, I am just can't help myself. What's up, everyone? My name is Nick Moe, and today I'll be heading deep into the woods of Wyoming to discuss Firewatch. Why is it so quiet? This game has one of the best endings of any game out there. Needless to say, if you've not finished Firewatch, the entire ending of this game will be spoiled for you if you stick around. It's a really good game. The fuck? It's Seriously, so quiet. If you haven't, close this and go play. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get started. Firewatch stars Henry, a hero who takes a job as a Firewatch park ranger and while on duty unravels a spooky mystery and meets a wild cast of characters along the way to finding the truth. Right? Right? No, not exactly. See, if you've been paying attention to the details in your playthrough, you may have realized Firewatch really has nothing to do with conspiracy mysteries, or romance, or a battle of good and evil. It's just a game about problems. You see, Firewatch is a game about tragedy, problems, and how we as humans handle these problems. In fact, Firewatch is basically a four-hour emotional experiment which succeeds in one area... You guys can hear it good now, trail. right? You guys can hear the video okay now? An emotional connection between the player and the character. I know it sounds like a load of crap, but Take let me Take it easy, explain. frog. The ending of Firewatch made a lot of people feel cheated. They were angered that Henry never got to meet Delilah. They were saddened that it ended so abruptly. The Shit, I didn't even think about life. that. I'm never going to know what Delilah looked like. Wait, that's going to eat me alive. A hell of a ride, and it came to a screeching halt. And that upset them. But in the game... I... Oh, wait, I didn't even think about that. We never know what fucking Delilah looked like. Upon reaching the end of the story, Henry's also upset. Once he realizes Delilah didn't bother waiting for him, he's visibly upset and angry. Despite a deadly fire closing in on him, Henry takes a seat at Delilah's post and calls her to let her know just how upset he is. In this moment, the player and Henry are going through the same emotions. And once I began to realize... See, I think unavoidably, there is definitely an emotional attachment there. I guess it could just be a betrayal like a friend, though. It would really hurt that they left, I, I guess. what was going on between Henry and I, the game hit me like a ton of bricks. All right, let's back up. What Firewatch the fuck is happening? an expose on Henry. It gives us insight to his personality and gives Henry motives for the rest of the dialogue in the story. We as players get a ton of information in about a five-minute span at this point in the game, but there are a few key pieces of information that people seem to gloss over, and the biggest is alcohol and what role it plays in the story. Alcohol is given a remarkable amount of detail in the beginning of Firewatch. Shit, there is so much alcohol in this whole game. Wait, that's true. When Henry meets the love of his life, Julia, it's at a bar. When they socialize with friends and make happy memories, the game mentions going out for drinks almost constantly. And when tragedy strikes and Julia falls ill, alcohol takes on a new role in the story. Gone are lines like, you all go out for drinks. And in their place are lines like, you drink alone, again. And this all comes to a head when Julia is taken away from Henry, and Henry gets a DUI. As tragic as the situation is with Julia, the only way Henry is dealing with it is through alcohol, and it's putting his life in danger. 
So what do those who want to kick alcohol usually do? Well, they Thank isolate you for the follows. themselves, typically avoiding places like bars or restaurants where they would go to drink, and in some cases, checking into rehab centers to escape the alcohol around them. Now, I know the game never explicitly states that Henry is trying to quit drinking, but if you wanted to get away for a while, this beautiful stretch of wilderness in Wyoming sure could help get a lot off your mind, right? I believe Henry sees the Firewatch position as a way to escape his problems. His wife's sickness, the alcohol, the stress of work, and the ramifications of a DUI. Mm -hmm, Henry believes mm -hmm. that he can escape these problems, and for about three hours worth of gameplay, it seems like Henry's right. Early on in his experience as a Firewatchman, Henry meets Delilah over the radio, and not in person, of course. You see, Delilah is his new boss, and over the next 70 days, their constant radio contact evolves into a bit of a relationship. The two clearly depend on each other for emotional support. When Henry talks That's about when we Julia, go peeping brief. on those. And as time goes on, we hear less and less of her skinny being dippers. mentioned as Henry shifts his attention to the world around him in Wyoming. As time progresses and the story unfolds, the That's, painful This is what you guys might have missed. This is what happened when we saw someone watching us with a torch. This is who we saw, and now this is clearly probably just Ned, right? Enter between Henry and Delilah gives way to paranoia. Oh, of course it's Ned because he saw us near the cave and he wrote about it. Annoy him, as they believe they're being watched and that a grand conspiracy is taking place in the National Forest. The two of them become partners, relying on each other completely to stay safe. And this is all while having never seen each other face to face. And this is Ned's notes. It's at this notes. point in the game when Firewatch is at its best. See, Henry is terrified and filled with adrenaline because he believes someone is out there in the trees watching him. And as the evidence piles up, we as the player are inching closer and closer to our monitors as the story grips us. The game is hard to put down and we are completely invested in this mystery, just mm -hmm, like Henry. Mm -hmm. See where I'm going with this? When the truth is finally revealed, it's an ugly truth. A boy named Brian has died in the forest, and his mentally ill, PTSD-ridden father Ned didn't know how to deal with it, so he tried to cover it up. And just because Henry was nearby, he and Delilah became involved in this man's problems. When Henry realizes that this is it, that there was no grand conspiracy, his voice is not that of a relieved and thankful person. The thing is that I don't get, chat. This is what I don't get, right? Ned is the person that's been following us. Ned is the person that's been making all these notes about us. But who built the fenced area? Like, what's that all about? Because, like, there's... That's not... Is that, That's not Ned, is it? Because there was plans of how Ned broke into that fenced area, right? It's a university research site? So why is there university research with notes about us? Delilah was just not aware of it. But why were the notes all about us in there? Oh, Ned. Ned just put that stuff there. Oh, he planted it. To make it look like they were spying on us. Oh, wait, is that what it is? Wait, that's really fucking clever. So the fenced off area, the like the professional scientific area is actually nothing to do with us. It was just uni people doing research. And Ned has made it look like they were researching us to to cover his own tracks, I guess. When Henry gives the news about Ned and Brian to Delilah, he's flat, almost as if he's disappointed. Because at this point in the story, we as the player are realizing we were letting everything we saw get to our imagination. The Area 51 looking fence. <laughs> the bio this game is one of the best games I've ever played in the sense that it made me gaslight myself so much. Just research site, the tracking collar on the elk, oh, the, tracking the radio side. disturbance, all of it was normal national forest stuff. Yet we built it up to involve us, AKA Henry, and when the truth came out, it was a bummer. Again, we're connected to Henry because Henry is now realizing, well, I guess none of this ever involved me, and it's all over. But wait, wait just a minute. For a moment, there's a chance of redemption. We can still meet Delilah. We can still finally meet this person after all of this. And then it happens. She's gone. And as I- Oh, so Delilah always leaves. Delilah always leaves. That, that, Delilah was always going to leave us. That was always- okay. I mentioned before, both Good. the player and Henry okay. feel angered. Henry sits at her chair and sees the tequila bottle that Delilah drank when she flirted with him over the radio. And he looks out toward and things got a little bit fucking saucy. His own tower, and he feels this immense a little bit of walkie-talkie. This is anyone who has ever been rejected <laughs> by a person we were interested in would feel. 
to top things off, Delilah mentions that she's not going to meet you in the shadow of a dead boy. And she even suggests you visit Julia in the first mention of Julia in a long time. And like that, it's over. The grand mystery, the potential for romance, it's all gone, and Henry must return home and face his problems head on. The Firewatch position only granting him a temporary escape from his problems, and may have even made some of these problems oh, worse. Shelley, uh, hello. No man. matter what happens, we s wait. The the great grand takeaway from this game is that Shelley the turtle, we saved their life. You guys all told me I was messing with animals, stealing Shelly from their natural habitat. If we didn't pick up Shelly and take Shelly home with us, Shelly would never have made it out. Shelly probably would have died in those forest fires. Shelly Duval gets to live a long, happy life with us. That's the moral takeaway from this game. We re we rehomed and gave another another chance at life to Shelly. Shelly Duval. Memory of a dead child in a cave. See, this crushing realism and the way we as players feel similar to Henry by the end of the game is why I believe no, Doc. is one of the best <laughs> no. any story-focused game out there. Sure, we could speculate that the devs ran <laughs> w long Shelley time, for real. how to wrap this story up with a neat bow, but judging by the product we have, I believe the brutal reality of the story was the developer's original intention. And I applaud them for going for it, knowing that a ton of people are about to be unhappy about this ending. Hey, if they're that upset, maybe they should hop offline and take a stroll in the forest. It worked for Henry, right? Oh shit! Okay. Oh, starting to get real Wait, so is there actually other different endings to the game or not? I feel like you guys have gaslit me. I don't feel like there is 15 endings. If if Shelley always leaves, there's only one ending. We've been gaslit. There's only one ending. <laughs> Google says there's only one ending. You fuckers! You know how many of you guys told me there was multiple endings for this game? You guys are unbelievable. Holy shit.